All right, we're here almost, almost in time. Um, yeah. So let's do some tier 200 bosses first. Change something here real quick. Thirty k. Okay. Right, I gotta. I think I have everything, but right, I need four more Varshans. So let's do four Varshans real quick. I need the mat for the uber uber durial is there even an uber uber durial i have no idea we shall see very soon Okay, three more times, then we have all the mats. Then we give away some uniques here. Let's see. Swiss from with Asus at Asus. But you're gonna be killing if you kill elites with this ones. I'm gonna give these away as well. Or do they have like I'm looking for some with like 30 percentage, but you know. It is like it is. It's hard without being able to buy the summoning materials if you have to farm like the summoning materials all by yourself, like you're not gonna have a very good time. So I do two more and then I'm gonna do the uber bosses real quick. Junk. I need one more. One more egg. Hey, how's it going? Okay. Dude, these necromancer golems are huge. Okay, what do we start with? We start with Uber. What is it? Lord Zer? Or something like that. Wait, didn't I do this? No, I didn't. I did Grigoire and Varsha, right? I don't even know the mechanics for Lord Zer, so I might just die. But who knows? Sometimes you're lucky. Oh, look, double egg. Mm, just need some bacon and then I got a breakfast. Right. What do we have here? Another mother's embrace? God, how do I leave this chat here? I don't wanna be in this chat, please. Um Okay. So let's do the Uber Lord Zer. Or Zir, whatever. Let's 
gonna be mad fun. I don't know if it's gonna kill me or not. I was going to put sapphires in my gear instead of rubies to get a little bit more damage. But I don't want to die, really. So, let's see. I literally have never made this boss but once for like the season pass. And I did it once on the PTR just for finding tempering manuals. So, no clue what this boss does. Absolutely no idea. That's my skill tree right. With avalanche, yes. This, yes. I have this, yes. Okay, good. Okay. Who knows? Maybe they will finally understand that people want powerful builds. But, you know, I'm not gonna speculate on that, honestly. So let's see, what is this Uber Lord's uh, story here? Just this summoning. Wait, oh. Go again. Oh dear. Okay, so we have this one, right? 56. What? Wait, no, this one here. 45 and 3. That looks good. I don't know if he does anything. Oh, okay. So apparently this guy has a one-shot mechanic. Interesting. <laughs> Alright. So, I guess we gotta dodge these ugly, bloody blades. Alright. It was worth a try, though. <laughs> So, but he does move, right? Yeah. We can put him in the middle at least. So, wait. What is this? How do I see it? Okay, little blood bubbles. Stagger. I have no clue how to see this ability. Is it that? No. What's he doing? I have no clue what he's doing. Yeah, I guess. Okay, am I supposed to do anything with this blood bubble? Wait, so... Oh, there it is. Oh, but this time I survived it? Okay. I don't understand this boss. He's doing random stuff to me. Oh, he's flying. Oh, that's the blood waves. Ah, okay. Now I saw it. Okay, so apparently the other abilities don't do any damage. Just this, uh, this one. All right. Look at all those uniques. Okay, what do we have here? Focus, chest armor, stuff. Grass seems to be garbage. I wanted to pick up amulets, though. Okay. But that was like at least partially interesting, right? Did we get anything useful? 
Useless boots, useless boots. What is this? I've never seen this. Is this new? Casting a skill has 22 to cast non-mobility, non-ultimate skill that is currently on cooldown. How terrible is that? That is the worst boots I ever saw. Like, you get a free cast once every 12 seconds? What's the point? Why do you even make this item? It, like, there's literally no use for it. Like, the stats are terrible. I don't get it. <laughs> I mean, make it once every second or every two seconds, maybe. But 12? Like, why? Okay, anyway, temerity. Oh, we got a max temerity. I'm going to keep that one. Uh, then we got a bunch of uh, Raymans. Okay, one second. Let me see. Okay. Do I fear? I don't even care. So, this is the giveaway tab, by the way. So, uh, Asus, Mother's Embrace, Raymans, even more Raymans, Garbage Boots. Right, fair enough. So if I'm gonna keep this temerity, I can put this temerity into the giveaway. Look at this. Almost full. We're gonna fill this top. Yeah, you can get permanent flame shield, but just with basic skill builds though. Um Okay, what's next? Uh the, the beast in ice, right? So I gotta craft this thing. Do I need to craft? Yeah, probably. Uh, what is this? Craft sigil, sacred. No, interest. Where's the beast in ice? Ah, glacial fissure. This one, right? Tier 96. That looks good. Right, let me repair real quick. I, oh, I, I, by the way, I forgot to use the elixir here. So, uh, repair, repair, repair. Just use the elixir for now. Where is it? So, beast and ice. Did I click it already? No. Let's go beast and ice. Uber beast and ice. Where the hell is the dungeon? There. Yeah. Maybe it drops like a Starfall Coronet with like a 4 out of 4. Like, I, I definitely need one. I want to try some Meteor stuff. You could get, um, if you completely commit to Flame Shield, I guess you could also get permanent Flame Shield with just Ice Blades or stuff like that. If you get all the um, Flame Shield skills and if you have a Shaco. Like, obviously, I don't have a Shaco. And, oh, by the way, the Resplendent Sparks don't drop, right? So, they said um, you're going to get one of the, uh, where is it? Respl uh, Resplendent Sparks per level 200 uber boss it seems like you just get one for the very first so i mean i just killed the third one and i still am at one so i guess you can just get one of these which is very disappointing because i really was looking forward to killing those four uber bosses and just getting my shako but you know i guess blizzard still doesn't get some things what we want and whatnot wait Okay, this this has like 50 one-shot mechanics, right? This beast in ice. That was terrible if I remember it correctly. It used to... Oh, look at this. Even more Asus boots. Like, you guys can all get Asus boots. I got like 17 of those now. Oh, it's again penitent. Uh, so... Wait, what? It starts right away? Oh, okay. Wait, this is not Uber? Why is it bugged? Look at me dodging these mechanics like a pro. So this is certainly not Uber, right? This is, I mean, it has a little bit more HP than the regular one, I guess. But I guess it's bugged. It 
It also was level 150 and not level 200. Okay. No drops. Oh, there they go. Okay, so this one is definitely bugged, I would say. Like, this was level 150 and not level 200. Look at this. I get a mount, which is a book. Oh, cosmetic trophy. So what do we have? Rings, pants, pants, boots, helm, helm. Skull torch? What is that? Another trophy? Okay, so I guess the beast in ice is bugged. Whatever. Uh, ring, 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 ring. So what did you get? Where, where are the star falls? So we got one star fall. We got another one. Uh, and we got some random stuff once again. Pretty disappointing. Yeah, Shaco. Shaco would be beneficial, but you 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 would lose lucky hit. So basically, if you lose twenty percent lucky hit chance, it's not like you're losing twenty percent damage, but maybe make it fifteen percent or something like that. I mean, Shaco is still gonna be better. But the impact of Uber Uniques is definitely much weaker like before with the new items because the Uniques didn't really change. Uh, so wait, let's see. Which star for Corona do I want to keep? Uh, I have this one here, which is 6.4-14% lucky hit. This is perfect lucky hit so and 5.4 cooldown reduction. This is garbage lucky hit. So I guess I want to keep this one here, right? Wait, I'm missing one. This one here, right? So this one here has... How do I see the base stats of this? Oh, So this has perfect lucky hit and pretty good cooldown. So I guess this is still the best one I have. Even though, yeah, I guess like the 0.8% lucky hit doesn't make up for the better cooldown reduction here. So let's put this into the stash. So now we got... Oh, look. It's already full. I got more uniques here. Uh, garbage. Okay, let me put my thing here back. So let's do Uber Uber Duriel, right? Is it... How do you call it? Is it Uber Uber Duriel? I have no freaking clue. Ah, uh, where is that thing? Uber Duriel is this one here, right? Yeah. So we do Uber Uber Duriel. Mm, I didn't try DPS teleport, but like there's a German guy who made a video on it and it was hitting for like 1.5 uh, 1 million on the teleport and the Nova was pretty big actually, like maybe like half a screen size. So... Yeah. I mean, the Firebolt is good, but, you know, if I go Uber Lilith now, I will probably kill it in, I don't know, 0.8 seconds. <laughs> I mean, the, the the Unique is cool because it gives you, like, permanent flame shield, but, you know, the Firebolt, it's just, like, a pure boss killer, and since there's no loadout slots, like, there's really no room for builds like that. And I guess Uber Lilith hasn't been updated, so I would assume with the new tempering items... Um, everybody would be just killing Uber Lilis within like seconds, no matter what build you use. Because they didn't change the scaling of level 100. Like if you go to like a tier 100 Nightmare Dungeon, it's like completely, like, it's a joke. It's like hell tight, basically. So... No, you never wanna, by the way, you never wanna lose Asus boots. Pretty much ever like losing 30% crit is well 30% crit is basically uh, I would say somewhere around 40 to 50% damage boost depends on your um, crit rolls so wait can I does this guy do anything which kills me I have no clue yeah Tor ah, Tom and Dura right let's go
I don't think he does anything, right? Let's just face tank that guy. Yeah, so the damage of um, Torment and Duriel is like through the roof. <laughs> he like literally doesn't know damage. So you think you can die if he unborrows? I don't know, I'm scared. Oh, look at that, that did damage. I wish I was a barb. You think he's gonna drop an uber unique? I mean, if you think about like the investment for just doing this boss was like tremendously high, so I rather want this guy to drop an uber unique now. Otherwise I would be pretty sad. Okay, look at all that stuff. All right, we got a ring, we got a chest, we got an amulet, we got pants, we got pants. And a bunch of garbage. What is brimstone? Oh, a mount? Cool. So, it looks like we got no uber uniques. <laughs> we got a blue rose. <laughs> we got a soul brand. <laughs> oh, we got a banished lord's talisman. <laughs> and we got two T-bolts. We got a T-Bolt with a damage reduction roll and a 19% damage increase. That is actually a decent item, I would say. Still, it's all garbage. But thanks a lot, Tormented Uber Duriel. That was pretty boring. Yeah, I mean, you know, ah, uh, who cares, right? All right, so let's put all this stuff away. Wait, let's see. What's my blue rose? Mana cost reduction. Lucky it. So I guess this one is a little bit better, but this has mineral on ice spike, so I guess I got to give it to the free giveaway. Okay, T-balls, T-balls. Do I even have T-balls? All the junk. Right. Oh, not this one. The best thing on it is that it has two sockets. Because you can only get one socket per world boss. And, you know, they're pretty valuable. Uh, we're soul brand. So I have a uh, 9.9 .9 lucky hit. And 16%. This is 9.1 .1 lucky hit and 15%. All right, screw it. I mean, I have killed a few and I didn't get a single one, so maybe they do, but it might be pretty rare. Uh, okay. So wait, let's let's try Uvalilis because uh, where is that thing? Yeah, I'm just curious. How long it will take. And then I'm gonna give like away the unique items. I got I guess I gotta do like two or three sessions to be just fair. Because I have way more than enough, right? Um there's supposed to be a bug that you can trade tempered items, so I have one extra um fractured winter glass. But it's um, already tempered, so I don't know if I can trade it. So I would try on the first one. And if it works, then, you know, there will be a second one. So let's just see what this Uber girl does. All right, welcome to the arena. I mean, what? 
she actually took off? Wait, now I have to play the whole thing? Okay. Well, that doesn't seem to be very challenging, right? I wonder if they changed the damage on the uh, little whatever flying blobs because they changed the visibility. They used to be dark red and now they are like blue. So I guess the first projectile they ever changed from dark red to like some visible color there. So what's like, I don't get it. Like what's the point why you don't scale these bosses? So they should have scaled these bosses as well. So wait, are the blobs even there? No. Okay. But I can stagger him in every single phase if I want. So I can, like, prolong this fight to the max. <laughs> wait, what? Oh. No, wait, this is the wrong side. <laughs> trick me. Almost trick me. Stagger again. So, like, imagine this would have, like, a gazillion HP. I could still stagger him in every phase and I would probably get him down. Wait, where do I have to go now? This way, right? Okay, so that was not too difficult, right? Oh wait, it dropped two items? That's amazing. Right, so I guess Uber Lilla is not a big deal, right? Alright, so I, I'm gonna give away some stuff now and then we're gonna start build cra crafting, right? So I wanna make chain lightning build after this. But I'm gonna do like, give away some stuff now. So remember, this is only on PTR, right? This is not the live server. So if you need something on PTR, you know, I would just show you the item and you just say you want it and you post your, your battle tag in uh, chat, basically. So this is no privacy here, right? Just post your battle tag in chat. That's it. Everybody's gonna love you. So we. We're gonna give away like fractured winter glass now, right? Um, we're first gonna try to um, trade this one here. Um, so if you want this, just you know, write your battle tag in chat. And um, if this is not tradable, we're gonna do this one here. If even somebody wants it, you know, if nobody wants it, we're just not gonna do this at all. <laughs> You can also have other stuff, right? I have Tarasha rings, I have Asus boots, everything here. If you want anything, just write your battle tag. Within the next 20 seconds, I'm gonna end this whole giveaway story. Oh, look, there they are. <laughs> Alright. So we go random. Second. So we do random one, two, four, right? Okay. So we have two that's uh, behind you. Uh, how do I copy this message though? Maybe we can trade the second one. We will see, right? So if you don't uh, take the friend request, I'm going to give it to somebody else. <laughs> right. All right. So we go to Asmod. Okay. Now I have bows. That's unfortunate. Right. 
So maybe both are tradable. We will see. They said there's a bug that they are tradable. So let's see. So maybe you get it both. We see. Uh. Right. So come to the Tree of Whispers, please. Yes. You want anything else, like Asus boots, Tar Russia rings, let me know. I have, like, plenty of those, right? Uh, wait. Trade, trade, trade. So let's see. Okay, I guess we can trade it, right? Oh, thank you so much for the gold. Alright, have fun with that one. So... Yeah, you definitely... I also don't know why. Well, actually, they opened a lot, uh, a bunch of um, R&T stuff, right? You have to remember, if you get a perfect rolled item, this is going to be worth thousands of dollars on, like, eBay. So, literally, like, if you get a 4 out of 4 uh, greater affix unique, it's going to be, like, worth, like, thousands, right? So, they literally opened this up. Oh, Frostburn. Look at that. All right, so have fun with that. Uh, so any anybody wants anything else of these? Asus boots, Tal Russia rings, Temerity, Staff of Corollets, Raiment of the Infinite, Staff of Liam Neeson, Flame Weavers, Pain Gorgeous, Gloves of the Illuminator. Just let me know. I have plenty of those. If not, I will ask later again after, you know, playing around a little bit. But if you need any of those items, just write it now. Just give me your battle tag. Tell me what item. Asadoras. I would try I would actually try the, the Lightning Nova. Yes. Oh, that was the wrong one, I'm sorry. Like this UI apparently. <laughs> That's interesting. I clicked on another guy, then I um did delete friend, and um because your friend <laughs> the UI basically deleted you, then it's like very weird. So you want Tal Russia ring? Let me give you the best one I find here. Eleven point five. So the best one here is like a good twelve, but it has good stats. Right. Oh, ta Tassets of the Dawnings. I don't even know if it's worth keeping this item, honestly. Okay, so anybody else wants anything of these items, let me know. Otherwise, we're going to start with doing the Chain Lightning. All right. At least I got rid of my um, fractured winter glasses, and two of you guys can now play uh, overpowered builds. Uh, so let's go with Chain Lightning. So I didn't really start yet. But um, I was going to try two different iterations. Okay. You're slow, but I, I, I do it. You get one. Um, so maybe I, I want to do two iterations. I want to first try um, Chain Lightning with Chain Lightning damage. And then I, I want to try Chain Lightning with Lucky Hit Meteor. And actually for that, what we're going to need is, and I already have some weapons here prepared, I think. Let me just get rid of these junk here real quick. It's like cluttering my inventory.
Where's all these um, greater affix items coming from? Lucky hit chance ring. I'm gonna keep this one. Right. Junk, 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 junk. Alright. All items. Okay, Tar Russia ring. Okay, let me search for the best one here. So we have this one, this one. Well, these are both equally bad, honestly. This one's a little bit better, I would say. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna test the chain lightning story. So, I have a wand and like a focus here. And I already rolled them for chance of chain lightning. But I want to remaster work them to get more chance of chain lightning. Even though this one is already pretty much perfectly master worked. And I, I think I'm not gonna... I don't even know. What do you think? Like it, it is, it is very, very good rolled. And... Well, I guess I cannot use this for anything else, so I might just rework it. Let's just rework it. Alright. By the way, quick note, you can press escape um, for the skip button. Because I saw like people on stream were like clicking the button, so you can use escape button. Uh, oh, and this stupid location doesn't have an alchemist. Yeah, boosting still resets the codex. I actually did it. It it honestly is not such a big deal because I wanted to um, enchant some items and um, there is some affixes which are pretty, like they're rare to enchant, like cooldown reduction and plus ranks to defensive skills, for example. It took me like 150 enchants or something like that to enchant them. They are rare. There's the higher rarity on those affixes. And I ran out of the yellow materials. So what I did is I made like four more rounds. It took like 45 minutes and I got myself like, what was it? Like 30k of the uh, veil crystals here. And, you know, if you just look at the items and, you know, just... Um, yes, uniques are tradable. Um, you can just put them to your stash. So the codex reset, the codex reset is not such a big deal. It takes like, you would say, it takes like an hour to create a lot of characters to get you a lot of materials. And you have to look through the offensive items and basically put the good aspects to your stash. But it's, it, I felt like it was not such a huge deal actually to reset the codex. But now, as as I know that it will reset the codex, I probably I got myself so many materials, so I never have to do it again, right? So and these these are pretty much infinite, right? So the the pit materials are infinite at this point, I would say. Let's make three hundred. I don't have this uh, this program for Pass of Exile where you can uh, put uh, right click on your mouse wheel, so I have to like click these. It's like really exhausting. So I think it's a good thing that uniques are tradable, but again, there will be real money transactions. Just imagine you get like a Shaco. Yeah, X mouse, exactly. Um, just imagine you get like a Shaco with like four greater affixes. Like that goes for, you know, it will probably sell for like, I would say 20k US dollars or something like that on eBay. It's like just an assumption, but... You know, that is probably the amount of money you will receive for a four greater affixes Shaco. And I'm pretty sure somebody is going to pay the price. But honestly, I don't think that is a bad thing to open up RMT. Because you know what, you're not going to get around it anyway. So let people RMT, I don't really care. Right. Let's go back to the crafting guy. So let's see, um, I want to have like at least a couple of, um, where is it, this one here? 
Oh yeah, right, you can trade Shaco. But yeah, then just make it like a, another unique, um, which are non-Uber. Uh, so I hit the affix already. It goes to 21. That's pretty dope. I could swear I was 21 before. So if you're like crafting these, right? You wanna... Um, always go to like rank 2. If you hit a good affix. So even if you hit like um, the crit chance or something like that, you will still want to go to rank 2 and see if you hit the affix you want. That's increasing your odds there basically. So now I have the damage affix is basically bricked, right? We don't want to hit this damage affix, but we have already one on the chain lightning affix. So I'm going to max this out regardless just for the um, for the shot. You can currently you can trade the items if you master work or temper them, but it's a bug. But it doesn't really matter. Like if you have greater affixes, you can trade. If you have a unique with four greater affixes, that's gonna sell for a lot of real money. And you're not supposed to trade the master worked items, but it's a bug in the um, PTR right now, so you can. So if I have this right, I could restart now, but. I will actually give it a shot to see if I can actually hit the chance for Chain Lightning another time before. Because, you know, the chances are already pretty low. And um, it's going to be much faster since the materials are pretty much infinite here. This UI. Um, to just go through it. On a live server where you don't have infinite materials, you probably would not do this. But my goal here is to hit this affix two times, basically. Or hit it one time and maybe hit the intelligence twice or something like that. Right. So this is like garbage. I don't even know why I'm using this item, by the way. This is garbage. Wait a second. Didn't I have a better one here? Uh, What's this called? Focus, right? So this one is like 15 times better, right? But this is already... Can I temper this? Tempers 5 for 5? Does that mean I have 5 left? What does that even mean? Okay, how can it have 5 on 5 if it has 2 things on it? I don't know, but... You know, anyway, let's try... So it has temporary rolls remaining five. So if you have the uh, bug that the button is gone, you just gotta relock. Yeah, the failing is stupid. They should just adjust the cost. They took it from Lost Ark. And I, I have no clue why they did it. Like, I feel like it's completely stupid. It's just annoying and it's useless. Um, This one here, right? Uh, no, this one, yeah. So let's try to give this um, shock augments. Wait, what? Why is the button not here? Okay, another bug is sometimes you gotta remove the master working and then it works. Um, this one. Okay. Uh, shock. Okay, now it's here. Yeah, you go. That's it. But that's a pretty low roll. Oh no, it's the highest roll actually. I take that. All right. So let's go for offensive. It has thirty-six percent damage. I guess we can uh, deal with that, right? So I wouldn't use these ones here, even though you could get critical strike chance potentially. Most likely you're going to brick your item. So I wouldn't use this. I would just go with the natural damage really for now. Unless you want to create like a god tier item. Uh, okay. So let's go with... Upgrade. And I'm clicking the button. All right, bricked. Also, why do I have to click the button two times, right? This is also so annoying. 
No, the amulets are gone, unfortunately. I'm sorry. But if you're lucky, I find a new one. You can have it. I will make another giveaway, like, soon. But I, there's only, like, Tal Rasha rings and Asus boots and stuff like that. Okay, do we want to try hitting the lucky hit? So, I want to keep the lucky hit. Because, you know what? If I hit the chain lightning now twice, it's still going to be a great item. And the second iteration goes relatively fast. Yeah, you can have Asus boots, but I will do this crafting now first. See, now it's bricked. So, a good addition, like just my idea for the system would be that you should be allowed to choose the first tier and not randomize the first tier. Because crafting through the first one goes very fast, but it's just plain annoying. Um, and you should just be able to choose the first key, uh, tier for like five times the cost, for example, right? It wouldn't change anything, but it would, uh, it would allow you to not like go through all the stupid crafting. And, um... Yeah. And the UI is, like, so bad. Alright, what did we get? So, so that would be... This is still, like, pretty good rolls, actually. So I'm gonna keep re-rolling it. Maybe I hit the chain lightning once again. But maybe i also keep it for now to just test it. I might be doing an incinerate uh, build tomorrow. But yeah, this animation and the double uh, double close button and everything, that is just, I don't know. Like, the animation shouldn't even be there. You should be like, upgrade, 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 just left mouse it. And just see the result. Like, don't make me close this window and everything. Just let me click the button as long as it takes, right? At least then, or stop clicking when you hit the next tier, for example. Okay, so... This is not a terrible item, I would say. I'm just gonna keep this for now. Okay. So we need a new wand. This wand here is actually pretty good. And it has four tempers left. And I'm not gonna play Frozen Orb again anyway, so I'm just gonna use this one here for now. Why, Why not? Um... Unfortunately, I guess I have to... Well, sometimes you can actually retemper it, and sometimes not. Sometimes you have to reset it, and I don't know what's, like, the, the point behind that, but, you know. It is like it is, right? Alright, so let's do it again. Let's go for shock outlines. No, I don't want ball lightning cast twice. Also this, why do I have to, right, open the menu again, click it again. Just keep the last setting. Oh my god, I actually clicked the wrong one. Right, let's hope I don't brick it. Last chance. Ah! That's it, right? Okay, weapon is bricked. That's too unfortunate. So, do we have another weapon here? <sighs> I want a wand. Let's just go through all the wands we have here. So, this one has a greater attack speed affix and it has zero tempers. So, this is bricked. This one has zero tempers. It's bricked. Okay, this one is intelligence. Oh, I already tempered this one. What is critical strike damage we don't need? No greater affixes. So I really don't have the best ones here. So let's just... Well, this one already has like a low roll on it. So I might just use this. Alright, temper. So we go for the offensive one and we go for natural. 
damage to crowd control we don't want. We want pure damage. Oh. Well, so let's master work this. This is like so bad, but you know, for well, just making a build, it should be enough. So I mean, the core system I like. There's just like a lot of UI improvements here to make. Attack speed is a good hit. I don't also don't get why the animation like I don't get the point behind it. Why do you even spend money on developing this animation? Nobody wants to see this. So the system is designed to make this uh, an awful amount of times, right? So you design a system where you put something in with the intention that people are going to do it like 500 times plus on an item. And then you make an animation and two buttons to cancel it, or basically three button clicks to retemper. And it just doesn't make any sense, because if you make a system which is based on you have to repeat it all the time, then make a UI which allows us to repeat it all the time, right? So, like, from the from the very beginning, the concept of this UI doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I don't know why this UI has been made like that. Whoever was, like, the product owner of this game and said, hey, can you just make a UI which takes, like, five seconds per attempt to do this? Um, we have to do this 500 times. Um, I think this is still good, a, a good idea. Like, why wouldn't you be, like... Yo, UI designer XYZ, we gotta make a system where you have to smash a button like 500 times. Can you make a UI to make this as simple as possible? No? I, I, no idea. Like, it's like, it's just beyond me. This is just like, this is really just fail on every like... And, and it, it, it pulls down the system because the system itself I like, but it's getting pulled down by the stupid mechanics here. And I mean, this was not necessary, right? They made an entirely new UI. So it's not like they took some UI which already did like this stuff and they used it. No, they made a new new UI and they completely made the wrong UI. It doesn't make any sense to make this UI on the world. Like if you asked a southern people can you do this 500 times and tell me what you would improve on this UI? Everybody is going to tell you the same thing. Just make me click the button once until I hit the next tier, please. It's just beyond me. But anyway, we got to deal with it. It's probably going to go live like this. Um, I don't even know if there's any synergies with the chain tag. Maybe I'm missing them, but... Is there any synergies with the chain tech? I think there was one tempering, right? On on a ring or something like that? Right, this is again bricked. You don't want to hit the maximum life, but I'm still going to finish it. Maybe I hit the chain lightning again, right? So if I get two out of, uh, two out of three um, chain lightning, um, I'm going to be just fine. Even though I hit the intelligent, uh, the maximum life, which I didn't want to hit. Yeah, I want to try charge bolts as well, but I only got like a very bad stuff. Ah, oh, and then and then you press escape like one time too many, and you're gonna use like you gonna exit the menu. Like this is really like uh, not a lot of fun. Let me just check, like, this chain tech story. So, wait, what did we get? Okay, this is bricked. Um, there was a master working... Wait, what was this? Why codex? So, I think it was utility, right? Um, nope. Was it more offensive? I could swear there was something with the chain tech. Maybe I don't have it, but I think I have all. Maybe it's like wrong. Maybe there is nothing with the chain tech. 
I'm not sure if anybody if anybody knows if there's something with a chain tag, please tell me. But I think there is not, honestly. I think it's just a random tag. But I kind of remember there was something, but I don't remember what it was. Yeah, I mean the you you might think the only way that they do it like this would be by design, right? Because, again, I cannot really find a valid reason to make a UI like this. Yeah, <laughs> put it in a search function. <laughs> Would be better. <laughs> I 100% agree there. We're gonna look at Chain Lightning once I have the gear done. I just need to like um, change like two more pieces. I can use all, most of my pieces uh, pieces from my last year. All right, attack speed. This is still good. Yeah, but that is that is cast to um, that has nothing to do with the shock tag. So this chance for chain lightning projectiles to cast twice is just basically the weapon temper. And I wonder how good it is on a two-handed weapon. But I'm gonna go with Wand and Focus for now, because I kind of have a plan to play this lucky hit. Alright, let's see. Let's hit the... If, if it hits the Chain Lightning again, this is gonna be awesome. But it's probably gonna hit the maximum life, let's face it. Uh, intelligence. Well, I'm gonna go with this for now, that's fine. It still has damage to crowd control. Maybe I can temper it again. No. Okay. So we got this, we got this. So now we, what we need is an amulet. So we need an amulet. Do you have any good amulets? Let's look at what we have. So we have these candidates here. So we got a lucky hit max life one. We don't want to have max life on our amulet really. We, got, we don't want to have movement speed on our amulet. This one is good. And this one is good. Uh, oh this one is... So this amulet is actually crazy. Because percent intelligence is very very strong. So let's start with this one here. So what do we want to have on there? Now gets interesting because I never um, tempered an amulet because I'm using like fractured winter glass. So let's just see what can we actually get on here. So we can get all the offensive stuff here. We can get defensive stuff, which we are not going to do. We can get utility, control. No, we don't need this. Mobility. Why would I want to have movement speed? Resource. So, sadly enough, we're probably going to go with offensive and resource, right? Because we want to have the ultimate efficiency here for sure. I will trade after um, finishing this crafting. Okay. Um... So we really want to have the ultimate efficiency here. And I think we don't need anything else important. I think I have, don't have the shock. Uh, but anyway, let's, uh, let's try to get the ultimate efficiency. Because we definitely want to have um, unstable current uh, cooldown reduction here. We can also get this on a ring. Um, but I really don't see any reason to play mobility or utility on this to be quite honest i don't really see any valid reason so we still go with uh, the resource here ultimate efficiency that's going to be the most important role obviously the button is not there so let's re let's let's relock so by the way, the greater affixes are additive. So master working a greater affix is exactly the same than master uh, working a normal affix. 
So you just get an additive bonus on greater affixes. So it's not cra as crazy as um, initially um, thought. Uh, resource. Ultimate efficiency. Let's go. Why does it say no zero tempers? Deep freeze cooldown. Nope. Inferno cooldown. Nope. Please don't break this amulet. Unstable currents cooldown. Thank you so much. Even though it's min roll, but you know, we take it. And then. You know, I'm probably gonna let the. Um, you know. We should roll this for um, crit chance, actually, which would be probably the smartest idea. But I'm going to leave this slot to... Um, maybe, maybe I should even go for defensive, honestly. Like, why would I do, like, a little bit of additive damage if I can get percent armor? I can get this one as well. Teleport cooldown reduction would be awesome as well, actually. I have no clue what to get on this goddamn amulet, really. I think the worst I could do is just get for, like, flat damage, right? That doesn't make any sense. But I don't want to have shock critical strike chance, to be quite honest, because I want to play this with lucky hit. Anyway... Uh... Ice blades, um, no. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna go with defensive. Screw it. I don't believe the armor cap is 16.5. I know there is um, a spreadsheet which is saying that, but I tried playing on um, on that armor and I was getting shredded. So I was trying to play on 16.5k armor and I was dying all the time. Then I increased my armor to 19k and I wasn't dying anymore. So I don't know how the spreadsheet works. Maybe the monster level is not really 199. Maybe it's a display bug or something like that. But I couldn't get it done with that um, with that armor. Alright, so wait. We have armor on here. And then... I'm just gonna leave it on there for now, I think. I guess that's fine for me. Screw it. Okay. So let's enchant this. So what we want to have is plus two conjuration mastery or plus two uh, devouring blaze. I'm not sure yet, honestly. Uh, 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 yes. Probably Conjuration Mastery is the better one. Oh, and that was fast. Wonderful. So, here's the thing. Tempering an amulet, uh, masterworking an amulet, you want to hit the Conjuration Mastery once. So you can get it to plus three. You gotta hit it once. It's not gonna be displayed because it's bugged. But you need to hit it once, otherwise it won't get to plus three. So as you can see, I already hit it. You cannot see it because the display is bugged. And, um, but we basically hit the plus two Conjuration Mastery now, right? And now ideally we want to hit Unstable Currents cooldown. Because if we play Lightning Build um, to make a Lightning Build efficient, Okay, I hit it twice. I don't know if I can get plus four. But now I will know. <laughs> I've never hit this, uh, the plus two twice, actually. So let's see what happens. But I think it's a wasted stat. We shall see if it can go up to plus four. I don't know. Okay, so it's bricked, right? So as you can see, now it's still a plus three. Um, this has one wasted roll basically now, but I hit the unstable currents, so I kind of, you know, I keep it for now. Let's not drag this out too far, right? This is not the perfect amulet by far. 
and I might gonna rework it, but um, I'm keeping it for now. Okay, so we got this, we got this, we got this. Um, everything else can pretty much stay the same. We don't need to make any changes in these here. Um, the only thing we still have is a ring. So I don't think we need resource restore on a ring. Um, I wonder what we... I think we need uh, the unstable currents cooldown as well. So I might just go with this. No, this is not a good ring. So let's see what we have for rings. So again, I don't want to have life on my ring. I want to have three offensive stats, right? Um. So let's see if we got any like good ones with double rolls. Attack speed. Well, this is a max crit attack speed. That's not too bad. But maybe we want to go with one with intelligence since we have the percent intelligence on our amulet. Let's check our breakpoints real quick here. So we are at 76% attack speed. Um, no, no life on ring. You you put life on um, helm, chest, um, helmet, chest, pants, and um, wand. These items, no life. Um, so maybe I want to go for intelligence. Do I have any good one here? Intelligence, attack speed, lucky hit. This is not too bad, actually. Is this already bricked? Tempest 1. Let's see if we can get anything out of this. Alright, so we gotta get the ultimate unstable currents efficiency, right? Ah, close one. That would have been a good ring. Alright, what else do we have? Alright, so let's get the attack speed. Oh no, let's get one with intelligence. Let's get intelligence. We're already good on attack speed, so let's get intelligence... Crit and lucky hit, I would say. That sounds good, right? So we have intelligence, crit, and lucky hit. We don't want attack speed. So we have one greater crit. Uh, so I don't have one which is good with intelligence? Nope. That's unfortunate. This one was bricked, right? Yeah. Okay, so then I guess we go with the lucky hit one. Or with the crit one. Crit or lucky, it doesn't even matter actually. So let's go with this crit. Let's go with this one here. Crit intelligence and let's put a lucky hit on here. Alright, let's go for ultimate efficiency. Unstable currents, wonderful, thank you very much. So we go for... We could actually try to hit the crit, but I'm still... I don't think it's gonna be smart to do that, actually. I'm just gonna go with the regular damage mod here. Wait, no tempers? Come on. Okay, let's try the other one. Wait, where is it? I didn't get it. Okay. I don't know if isn't the UI on console the same? But I don't have a console. I don't like consoles. I cannot use controllers. Like, I don't know. It's something I cannot really do. I hate controllers. I like Super Nintendo controllers though, but everything after Super Nintendo controllers I cannot deal with. Wait, wrong. Resource Ultimate. Damn it! All my rings are bricked. Uh, have any good one left? That's it, right? So I gotta take the bad one, I guess. Oh no, there's one more. 
the la last ring. One ring. One ring to rule them all. This is gonna be the one. Nope. It's not gonna be the one. <laughs> Alright, that was it, right? No more rings. So I, I gotta take the bad one then, I guess. You know, it is what it is. I just, I feel like playing on controllers probably more relaxed, but I just can't deal with that. My, my fingers don't like controllers. Period. What is this, this one here? Yeah. It says tempers left, but it has a tech speed. We don't want a tech speed. Uh... All right. So I guess we got to go with the bad ring. What is with this one? This is a tech speed as well, but I could, no, it has max life. Okay, so we're going to go with this ring right damage to close enemies there's worse things than using a damage to close ring i guess right so let's go masterwork again and let's wait let's go for unstable currents cooldown once unstable currents cooldown This is going pretty well. Shouldn't have said that. Alright, look at this. Double unstable currents cooldown. I'm probably gonna have like or enough unstable currents cooldown by far already. Um, you can pre press the escape button. So as soon as the button comes visible, you can press escape. How did I get 24k whales? Uh, I made like three rounds of new characters. And boosted them all and then deleted them. It was a pretty terrible experience, I have to say. <laughs> All right, this is a pretty decent one, right? Okay. So we're done, right? I could tell Russia ring, I have everything. So let's throw aspects on and give it a go. And, uh, I'm gonna give away some items. So um, let me just stash my crap here. Wait, do I need new gloves? No, my gloves are still, f oh, my gloves have frozen orb. I need new gloves. God damn it. I thought I was done. Uh, so, my assumption here is that we're gonna go with Lucky Hit and not pure Chain Lightning. So, I'm not gonna pick gloves which have Chain Lightning ranks. So, I'm just gonna pick triple stats gloves. Actually, I don't need triple. I think I only need... Double stats gloves because I'm already fixed on attack speed. But I got so many good gloves here. Alright. So. Ah, it's the last item though. Um. Oh, exactly. Um. It won't be, you're going to run out of crafting materials relatively fast. So you really want to pick the correct items. Um, okay, so this looks like a pretty decent base. Wait, what What do we actually want to go? Oh, this has attack speed. Okay, so I need attack speed on gloves. So I guess I want to get attack speed crit and lucky it for real. That's going to be it, right? Attack speed crit, lucky it. Or maybe I want to get int... Maybe I want to get int and um, how much crit do I have? Let me just let's just take out this gloves and see what we got. So wait, I got twenty two attack speed. Did I miss something? Ah, I still need to enchant something, right? Yeah, this one I need to enchant into attack speed or lucky hit. 
So I guess if I enchant this into attack speed, my attack speed is gonna be all right. Let's do this first. Because attack speed breakpoint is gonna be the most important here. Wait, no, enchant, no button. If you got no button, just relock. So you want to have 85% attack speed on your gear. 85% attack speed on your gear and 15% you get from the new elixir. Pretty much for every build, period. You can choose attack speed from the skill tree, I guess, if you really want to. Wait, do I want attack speed actually? Yes, I want attack speed. I could also go for Ancient Flame though. But no, I'm not gonna go for Ancient Flame. So let's get attack speed here. Also that you have to... Nice, there it is. Okay, so now our attack speed should be good, right? We have 43.9 attack speed. If we add gloves, we will go to like 73-ish. Which is... Ah, let's, it's alright for now. So let's just go with attack speed gloves. With greater affix attack speed gloves. So... I had greater affix attack speed gloves somewhere, right? This one. Okay, this is garbage. This one has intelligence. Not the best one, but I think I don't have any better one. Do we even need greater ethics? 74, I need 10%. So I need 40% attack speed basically, what I'm missing. So I'm gonna go with the greater attack speed one here. Okay, what do we get on here? I guess we get... Damage. Okay. Utility. Do we have the utility already? Drug control duration, barrier generation. So I need the... This one here for the crawl control. Grease is pretty good, actually. Okay, so we have this one now tempered. Let's masterwork that. So the early ranks of masterworking are fairly cheap, I guess. Okay, we hit damage over time. <laughs> okay, so that's the enchanted mod. Um, we're gonna enchant this into crit chance or lucky hit, so I guess I can do this for now, as long as I keep hitting something good. Alright, attack speed. Good one. So we're almost done now. I hope we don't have to play recharging aspect. I think resource generation on Lucky Hit should be enough, honestly. But I don't have it, unfortunately. Let's just see how it goes. We're just gonna start with recharging aspect and then we're gonna go from there. That sounds like a plan. 
All right, fair enough, right? So let's enchant these. Let's leave the game and enter it again. <laughs> so really, attack speed matters. Unless you're playing Ball Lightning, Ball Lightning has uh, the very fast um, animation. So for Ball Lightning, you don't need crazy attack speed, actually. Good chance. Let's go with crit chance for now, I guess. So, so let's look at our stats here real quick, right? So we have 76% attack speed. It's missing 10%, but that's all right. We got 91% crit chance. That's a little bit over the roof, I would say. <laughs> um, okay, we got too much crit chance. What, what are we going to do now? Why, do I, why on earth do I have so much crit chance? Because of my amulet. Alright, so let's just uh, change the gloves then to lucky hit, I guess. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's basically just... Well, you need three items with a decent attack speed. Attack speed rolls fairly high. So if you look, for example, at this wand, it has um, one master worker and it can already roll up to 25.5%. Same goes for gloves. These can also roll to like 25%. And then on focus and ring, there's two more um, pieces which can actually roll attack speed. I think attack speed can also roll an amulet. So it's absolutely no problem um, hitting those. Well, what, what do I want with too much crit chance? I'm over 100%. If I have my Asus on 100% movement speed, I'm going to be on 26% extra crit from Asus, right? So just put 20% on top of this, what I have right now. So we have crit chance now 74% plus 20 is 94%, right? So we are at basically 100% crit. So I'm good with this, actually. Um, let's put some aspects on and give it a go. Okay, so what aspects do we actually want? I have Storm Swell. Do I need, I need Storm Swell on my gloves, I guess? Uh, so I definitely want Storm Swell. You always want Storm Swell. I keep on dying. I keep this. I keep this. I might switch. Okay, still I'm I'm unlucky hit right now, by the way. Um. So I want accelerating aspect for sure. Then I want. What do I want? Um, I want on my amulet, or it's already on there. Chain four additional times. I want probably unstable currents to cast tries, right? That sounds like a good deal. Even though I only have a bad one. And I'm going with um, recharging aspect for now to see if I can fix mana. So let's try these for now. Yeah, they fixed Asus. Yeah, t bots is garbage now, pretty much. 20% is just not enough. Like, having any pants with intelligence on, we'll just get... So, like, this has 134 intelligence, so this is already 13.4% um, damage. t bots gives you 20%, but not all the time. And on top of it, you get the tempering affixes, and with this one here, I get plus 14% intelligence. So if you take 14% on top of your 134, you get like 160-ish, so you add 16% just from this. Un so, and this is terrible, like these pants are terrible, right? I have no greater affixes on the pants. So if you had greater intelligence, you would have more damage than Asus right there. And really for the resource, like I, there's no resource problems in this iteration, really. I would say. 
Um, so let's see if we can actually... Well, we should actually make a skill tree, right? Um, wait. Uh, am I stupid? Isn't there supposed to be a reset button? Ah, okay, it's hidden now here. So let's go with Firebolt. Then we go with Chain Lightning. What? Wait. Um, we're probably not going to play Crackling. I don't even know if we need this. Let's just leave this out for now. Um, we want Ice Armor with the permanent Ice Armor, I guess. Actually, I don't think we don't need we need this at all. Um, go for Glass Cannon. Let's do this. Let's get Lightning Spear. Let's get Frost Blades. Let's get Lucky Hit. Let's get Defenses. Let's get Conjuration Mastery. Okay, now it gets interesting. Let's get... Nope, nope, nope. We're not gonna get this. We're gonna get unstable currents. We're gonna get damage reduction. We're gonna get movement speed, probably. We're probably gonna go for worse mastery for now. Might switch to overflowing energy, though. Not sure yet. And then we're probably gonna max ball lightning. For now, and just I, I'm I'm first trying with lightning only, right? Yeah, I want to try the lightning spear, but I'm not doing it for now. Um, okay, we're not gonna pray crackling at all, I guess. I don't see a point in there. This looks decent for me. Do I want to hit? I don't know, maybe Overflowing Energy will be better, but let's stop with this now. Uh, I don't even care about the damage reduction, honestly. Just got some core skill damage. Alright, let's get some boss training dummies. I don't have Paragon. Maybe I should do Paragon first, honestly. Um... I think my Paragon... So, there's... Uh, what is it? No, where is the... Uh, oh. No. Where is that goddamn board? Oh, this one. No. Huh? Ah, I, ha I don't have it. I, ah, I have Static Search. So, there's the Static Search node. I don't know if it's gonna fix mana or not. I don't think it actually will. So I'm going to disregard it for now. So I'm just going to keep my boards other than, you know, this probably doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So let's get rid of this. We have no frost. So what we could do is we could get the node. I think it actually will fix our mana. Let's just do something different here. Let's just do the static search board. And let's just get ourselves this node. So I think this will fix mana by itself. Let me just um, change my ring. Because, you know, here's the thing, right? I really don't want to... Um, well, you are talking about single cast, but we cast multiple chain lightnings now. And that they count. So, I mean, they might count, actually. But we will see. Let me just try it for now. Also, we can fix resource cost reduction. It's not a big deal. Um, where is my... So we could actually use what could we actually use on there? Is there anything new which is good? No, right? We could do, use the double lightning spear. Maybe maybe let we go with this lightning spears thing. Uh, 
I mean, it gives us more damage with shock skills. Um, no, mana on cooldown is not good. I want to fix my mana without um, making sacrifices, basically. So I'll go, I'm going to go, I'm going to try with the Lightning Spear. So we're going to have, what What do we want to have? We're going to have Chain Lightning. We're going to have Teleport. We're going to need Unstable Currents. And... Well, we probably want to have Ice Blades. I don't even know if we want to have Ice Blades. Will this work? With, let's try if this works without Ice Blades first. I know that there's an aspect which is giving me mana every time Chain Lightning bounces. But again, I don't want to invest into an aspect to fix my resource. This game is at, is at a stage where you technically don't have to do this. But you have to fix with Conjuration Mastery. Wait, what is happening? Okay, so this is definitely not working. Need more mana. But uh, I have no enchantments. Alright, let's add Chain Lightning enchantment. And let's add... Let's do Firebolt for now. Okay, not yet. So we don't have enough Conjuration Mastery. So I guess we would actually need more resource cost reduction to get this going. It's gonna restore 10% of the mana. I don't know. Probably not gonna work. Let's try recharging aspect. I like my hopes was that I can use unstable currents to get enough conjuration mastery to um, fix my mana. That is pretty much my goal. But maybe I need mana pool from Paragon to do this. I mean, I still didn't fix my Paragon anyway. So let's start with that. So we want to have charged. But I cannot change this board. That's unfortunate. Do I have to redo the whole Paragon? I think I have to redo the whole Paragon, unfortunately. I could actually put... Tech no, I cannot. <laughs> I have to fix the entire Paragon. But let's just um, make it temporary for now. Let's just go with Tactician here for now. I know it's not good, but we're doing it. Then we don't need... Um, we don't want to have Conjurer. We want to go for Charged. And then... But I don't have a Glyph for this board right now, so I'm just going to go with... Probably Reinforced. Is there another well, Buff Note? Uh, wasn't there like a lightning buff note? Electrocute, right? That's pretty much garbage. Okay. Well, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go with um, reinforced for now. This is I know, this is not uh, this is just temporary right now, right? I just want to test some stuff. Because I can just fit this glyph in here without making too many changes, basically. Uh, is there another willpower on this goddamn board? Wait, there's not? Like, only this one here? Oh, that's terrible. Anyway. Who cares, right? Let's just, let, let's just leave it for now. Okay. Okay, so what do you have? Da -da -da, I have exploit, charged, flame feeder, destruction. Okay, so this is probably not gonna work, but let's see. I'm going with recharged aspect for now, just to get like something going here.
Also, the, by the way, you could use the elixir of resources. Ah, actually, let me just do this. Haha. <laughs> let me try the resource elixir. And I also want to have a ball lightning enchant, by the way, instead of chain lightning, probably. So let's see if I can fix it if I use the resource elixir. Because I just need to stack a little bit more attack speed and then it will be fine. Okay, let's go for... Multiple. That's almost good. But not good enough. <laughs> Need a little bit more resource cost reduction. Um, do I need this cooldown reduction? What's my unstable current cooldown? 27 seconds. Probably need it. So let's do like this. Let's go for. Let's go for overflowing energy. Let's go for. Crackling energy, probably. I mean, I could always play Crackling energy, but I don't really want to do this. I mean, I'm clo I'm close. I'm close to sustaining. I need just one item to fix. So I could use a resource regeneration on my armor. Where's the ch uh, ball lightning a chance, by the way? Let me just put on damage numbers. Uh. But I think that the lightning spear aspect, um, I mean, I, this is not enough cooldown reduction to make it worse, honestly. I'm just gonna ditch this. I'm just gonna go for like a regular ice blade style here. And I'm just gonna play with recharging for now. Not gonna be enough. It's in, in, in like a theoretical uh, situation it will work, but it's not gonna be enough for this. So, I'm just going to try with the recharging aspect and I'm just going to hop into like the, the pit here to just see. I don't really like this, but I have to do it now. So now we can ditch this whole Paragon board here basically. No reason to keep this with recharging aspect. I mean, this bot is not very good, right? I'm just using it for now. And uh, let me just get some extra damage. Honestly, let's just get these non fizz nodes here. Maybe I could get for in. Nah, let me just get the enchantment master, honestly. Because I got like a, I got a little plan for this later. Let's just do it like this. Well, recharging aspect alone is fine. You don't need static search on Paragon if you have recharging. Recharging aspect fixes everything, but really I, I don't want to use it. But I'm doing it for now. Basically, if you wanna, and I, I mean I will figure this out. You just need like some uh, resource cost reduction on your gear or some. Resource generation on Lucky Hit, and then in a real scenario, you will have enough mana, but I'm still like figuring this out at this point. Basically, if you can go without recharging aspect, it's gonna be significantly better. 
Uh, I have way too much armor, by the way. Who cares, right? So I don't need gems. Fine. Yeah, I don't want to pick up crackling energy. Um, I want to have greater chain lightning here. These things all work good for, but I'm trying to build like a high tier gear here, a high tier build. And as soon as you have to pick up crackling energy, that is not, you're going to get stuck all the time, basically. Wait, gotta get my hotkeys fixed. Okay, so this basically does no damage, or are these fortified? Okay, these fortified. So this definitely does no damage whatsoever. What is it? No damage. Can I have at least something? <laughs> this is weird. It literally does no damage whatsoever. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the fortified guy is done, right? Yeah. This is this is really really strange. Wait, do we have burning? Yeah, we have burning. Okay. I'm I'm a little confused actually. We should do way more damage. So wait a second. Well, I was going to think that this is not going to work. Like, I, I wasn't thinking that the um, Chain Lightning was going to do the damage, but I at least wanted to test it. I think it, like always, Chain Lightning hasn't really uh, doing any uh, been doing any damage, although the Ball Lightning is not doing any damage. And that was my thinking from the beginning, but I wouldn't um, expect it to be so low, right? I mean, it's still level 200, which is, you know, pretty broken, but this is extremely low. So, um, I mean, I, again, I was anticipating that. And that's why I wanted to try this with, um, uh, with uh, Meteor Enchantment. Well, they all are crowd controlled automatically. But, um, I mean, I wasn't expecting to chain lightning to do damage, but this was actually very little. And I didn't really miss too much... Um, stuff on my gear. I mean, you could double it easily, but, you know, you would have to get, like, ten times the damage, basically, to make this worth something. Um, so let's do this. Which was probably, which was anyway my original plan. Go for Meteor. Uh, we can go for crackling actually, it doesn't really matter. And then we go for... Well, I mean, we would have to scale meteor damage, but I just want to test first if there's even a potential to, um, to get this done. Also, the Conjuration Mastery is, like, not really um, working at this stage, but that's okay. Now, you never want to use Elementalist. That aspect is just bad. Like, in general, there's no valid reason to get Elementalist <laughs> for no build. Even, like, especially in this new version, it's so easy to build crit chance, and Elementalist is just a wasted slot. You're never going to be above 100 mana all the time unless you build max resource 
and extreme resource generation. So, and also it's still at this point unknown if Elementalist works on unstable currents or anything else. So basically I would never ever go Elementalist on any build. Vulnerable you have automatically through chain lightning. And um, as I just tested static search, it will require a lot of resource um, cost reduction, which I don't have. Oh wait, I should actually grab the medium enchantment if I'm playing this, right? Oh, wonderful, I cannot change it. Wait, do I have to die like 15 times now? How do I get out of here? Can I leave it? <laughs> wait. Okay. What if the mobs would be here? Would I ever get out of this dungeon? I didn't test incinerate yet. I want to test chain lightning. Um, so I want to have meteor enchantment here. We could probably go for meteor and ball lightning enchantment. But you know. No. Never stuff. It's just a bait. Especially in the new one. You have so good stats on your uh, offhand. And um, also, like you're talking about like a 20 to 30 percentage damage uh, uh, difference there. So really, Chain Lightning hasn't been doing any damage since forever and it's still not. The only difference is you can shoot multiple Chain Lightnings now to trigger enchantments. Which is probably, let's see. This is like so slow, why is it so slow? Let's go. This is not enough meteors. Not even slightly enough, I would say. If there would be like four times more meteors, I would consider this being viable. Also, why are these not stunned? Ah, because I don't have unstable currents. Okay. So, let's see. I don't know, but it seems like the lucky hit chance of Chain Lightning can only proc like... I mean, it doesn't seem to proc enough. I would expect this to proc like at least four or five times more. It simply doesn't seem to work. So there seems to be a hard cap on every Chain Lightning that it can just proc one enchantment. Or something like that. But this is like very, very low procs here. And I'm even playing Enchantment Master. Hmm. This is disappointing. <laughs> I have to say. This is probably not gonna work. I mean, this would work for like tier 100, obviously, but... The amount of Meteors is extremely low. I expected like... A zillion times more meteors. Like even if let's just put meteor on our bar here. No way would I um I mean do you know there's no chain lightning uniques really? I mean it's probably just chain lightning is just weak. Like even if I would try to figure this out I spark. Spark hits way less targets than chain lightning actually. I mean, the cooldown reduction is not good enough to like spam meteors I guess but I mean I, I kind of like it's kind of strange maybe these extra chain lightning uh, projectiles don't really work I mean unstable currents cooldown is fine 
But this is just like not enough meteors. Should be like so many more. Yes, this is not going to work. This has like an 87% lucky hit. How is it not? This is so str Okay, look. We have 54% um, um, lucky hit chance on chain lightning. That's per cast. And meteor enchantment is 30%, right? Uh, no, it's 10%. So we have, what is this? Uh... 5% per hit, so every second chain lightning should technically proc a meteor. It doesn't even take into account unstable currents. Look at this, this is like literally not procking at all. Like this, I just clicked. Like this is like bad. <laughs> I wonder if I'm missing something here. I mean, even if I would, like, obviously my Meteor is not doing, like, enough damage. It should, it would do, like, about five to six times more damage if I um, spec it. But I don't get enough of those. Rock chance is just low. I mean, this is like level 200, right? I, I'm not sure if any build is supposed to do this. But, you know, if I get enough cooldown reduction on this and spec into Meteor, I think it wouldn't be really, you know, it wouldn't be a Chain Lightning build. I thought like Chain Lightning would be good at actually proccing Lucky Hit. Maybe we want to do Charge Bolts. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean, I could do that, then I would double my chain lightning damage, but I need 10 times the chain lightning damage. That's the thing, right? I mean, look, I, I don't have um, I don't have the highest damage on chain lightning, and I was thinking the multiple projectiles are already doing uh, something, but it doesn't seem... I, I mean, let me just test at the dummies. I think they don't hit or something like that. Um, but the problem is I want to have something which is level 200 viable. And that is, even if I make 20 times the damage on this Chain Lightning, it's not going to be viable. Um. Butcher doesn't even exist anymore, right? <laughs> I mean, why would you play Nightmare Dungeons? Even if um, this goes live, you wouldn't play Nightmare Dungeons until you have like your items masterwork from Pit. And then you would just do the uh, the Nightmare Dungeons later. I mean, I would, I would do it like that, honestly. But I don't know. I feel like the multiple chain lightning projectiles is not that good. I think they don't hit, honestly. See? They just bypass it. I wonder if they can hit at all. And just remove this crackling energy story here. Where does the crackling energy even come from? Wait. Does this even proc? Okay, this was two, right? I 
I feel like this doesn't proc at all. It's hard to see though. But on this range it's already missing. You can see the second uh, chain lightning is missing there. But I feel like this is just too low. Like for proc chance for the meteor. It's like not really working out at all. Well, it's just level 1 Chain Lightning now, right? But and I don't know if I con have Conjurations at anything. But yeah, it's, it's pretty bad, actually. Don't think this is gonna work at all. I was expecting way more um, Lucky Hit out of this. How much Lucky Hit do I actually have? I should have pretty decent Lucky Hit chance, actually. Yeah, I have like a hundred fifty percent lucky hit chance. What does it do with charge bolts, though? Oh, charge bolt doesn't work with recharging, right? I think this is better, actually. But this hits basically. Every second time. Maybe we go charge bolts, honestly. Maybe we go charge bolt meteor. <laughs> Obviously, I have no mana to do this right now, but. But I mean, this looks more promising, like from the procs. And the, um, the stuff, I mean, I only have a bad one, unfortunately. Mine only has like plus four charge bolts. But um, this basically has native, I mean, the stats on this staff are just so terrible, right? It's, it's like disgustingly bad. But it has like native resource generation. Go for this chain lightning and channel real quick here. Oh. I'm just trying something here. Five. Nah, I'm not gonna grab a new one. I mean. This proc's okay, right? If I, if I uh, click casting. Don't look at the damage. Damage is uh, something which I'm gonna scale later after I got the build working. Yeah, charge bolt is a shotgun. I mean, it's really not proccing at all. Like, it's not even... 
I don't know, even with the multiple projectiles, like I have like 50% multiple projectiles on Chain Lightning and I think they just miss and they don't really seem to proc anything. Um, so let me just upgrade this stuff here. I mean, this is not perfect, obviously. I should have one with more charge bolts. But I'm not going to do with enchantments now. I'm just going to go for charge bolts, I guess. No, it's not awful. Wait. The charge bolt damage on boss was not so bad. It's just... Uh, it depends how you build around it. If you have a high enough attack speed and if you um, have enough procs, it works good. Wait, what did I actually hit? I just want to get a couple of skill levels on there. The problem with the stuff is like it's just terrible in general. Like the stats are absolutely horrible. Okay, plus five, that's good. But if you have like plus ten or something like that with decent upgrades on this. Mon, anyway. I don't know. Honestly, I never played Teleport Enchant plus uh, Oculus or Barrier. In general, I never had problems with Barrier. Yeah, it's obviously you cannot temper it. That's that's like a huge issue. Obviously. But I just, just want to try if there's even damage potential. Come on, can he stop hitting garbage? Anyhow. So this can probably reach until like... This could reach probably like 10 ranks to charge bolts or something like that. I'm just going to go with this now. So then we do different aspect. Uh, we need charge bolt, pierce, whatever aspect, right? Pierce. Nice no button. <laughs> it it kind of is, yes. But I still, you know, this the stuff is just not good enough for that. I don't think um, single target damage is uh, so bad, actually. Um, uh, yes, sing static. Oh, I also... I thought that's correct. Then we can play... Uh, what's it called? Let's just do uh, Conceded for now. Now let's do Stormswell, actually. Okay. Damage, damage, damage. Wait, I don't have... But you you have like literally no room for aspects with this. That's so terrible. Well, ball lightning, chain lightning, um, 
charge ball pretty much all the same, right? They don't really scale very good. Okay. So let me just try this with... Let me just do um, chain lightning enchant for now and firebolt. No, I don't need chain lightning enchant actually. Um, what could we do for an enchant, actually? Probably um, ball lightning, right? Pretty much the only thing we can use here. Change that helmet. I mean, I don't have optimal stats, uh, like, very far away from good stats, but I just want to see if something has potential. Okay, uh, let's do frost armor here. Do ball lightning enchant. Not go with more ranks of charge bolt for now. Uh, where can I get some points? This is about right. So I have 33 seconds unstable currents. It's uh, pretty terrible, actually. It's probably not going to work at all. Just want to see if it does anything. Put this board back. But I think these builds are just not gonna work. They're just missing the heavy AoE. Yeah, they fixed it. Well, I mean, the I think the fire builds are not bad, actually. Um, The lightning builds have been extremely weak all the time. Like, literally, lightning builds have never been strong. Always, like, we always used to do, like, lucky hit stuff with lightning or other things. Like, there has never been a strong lightning build other than ball lightning because it was completely bugged. See these hit for like what? Burned uh, 50k. That's like nothing basically. So even if you would um, get five times the damage, maybe it would be viable. But it literally, like, you, you have no modifiers on lightning. You, you really don't have the damage modifiers. There's no strong Paragon nodes whatsoever. Um, on Fire, you have pretty strong nodes. Um, on Frost, you have strong nodes. But what do you have on Lightning? Really, you have nothing. And then, you know, this stuff, which is basically enabling the build, you cannot use it with the new um, tempering stuff. So... Let's see if this has like any potential whatsoever. But I don't think this will have any potential. I mean, tier 200 is not like low level, right? So 
But um, a fire build definitely scales more damage. Lightning has no damage. In the um, in the frozen orb build, these skills um, there's like a plus two defensive attributes on uh, on the chest piece or the pants, I believe. Oh wow! So this does a little bit more damage. Just gotta fix mana. Let me just go for resource cost. I mean, I have terrible attack speed right now, right? Like absolutely terrible. I mean, this is doing a little bit better, but honestly, the stuff is just so bad, it like literally removes all your attack speed and everything. Wait for unstable currents. I mean, I get them halfway down. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't see any damage potential in this build as well, unfortunately. Like, you would have to get, like, five times the damage somewhere around that, I would say. I guess somewhere around five times. You could get ranks of charged bolts on, um, on your weapon, obviously. But... Like, even the scaling is, is like, terrible. Right, if you look at the scaling of these skills. Why can't I? Oh, I cannot adjust skills in here. Unfortunate. Let's try this once more, one more time. See, so if I go like in and bomb them, I get like 30% damage off or something like that. No, you would never drink potions because you would normally leech the life, but the problem is I have no attack speed. And attack speed comes from want and focus basically, and this stuff has no attack speed on it. So that's that's a pretty significant downside of playing this. Right? So even if this would have 10, what I wanted to show is like the the skill points and charge bolts, they don't scale at all. So this build will also never be able to get like level 200. So I guess it's just down to fire builds, really. <laughs> um, because fire scales high damage. That's that's the point of fire damage. It gives you like a lot of um damage. So if you if you see like how the damage scaling on skill points, how and why it is so bad, right? So if you look at this, right now it gives me 29k. So let's remove one rank here. And now we are 28. Right? So literally. One skill point in this is what, like, 3% base damage. So, 10, 10 skill points would be 30% damage. So, if you even had a perfect one with this one here, with 10 skill points on it, or even 12, you would get 30 or 40%-ish more damage. And besides that, this item basically does nothing, right? So, that, that's that's, like, an issue. And... With Frost, you don't have this problem because Frost, like Blizzard, for example, does very high damage. The Frozen Orb Conjuration, of course, it's broken. Um, but Lightning, there's really nothing you can do with Lightning. Well, Fire Builds don't really require any uniques but the, the gloves for the, um, for the uh, Fireball, most likely. But um, I don't... Like, this is also not working. Like, even if it would be working... Um, 
I don't see like any reason like you can play it without the stuff, right? It will work exceptionally better. Like if I just do this without the stuff now and just remember I still have like chain lightning enchantments on here. And I just have to change one uh still here. We have to have the pierce on here, right? So so you don't wanna have the pierce. So now if I just go for raw damage, right? We go for a conceded aspect. And let's just go for another damage aspect here. Let's just go for uh, go for control, for example. So now we go for pure damage with just these um, chain lightning items here. And just like the damage difference is not so huge. Like yes, it does like half of it now, but. Not about the the half damage it does. I mean, the the benchmark against tier two hundred is probably you know not the best benchmark, but you know this has got to be the benchmark. Once you have a build which clears tier two hundred, you got to benchmark it with that. Right, so now I'm using the charge boat without the stuff. And you can see, like, it does, like, tremendously more damage, as you can see. Um, the stuff gives pierce, yes. But, um... You know, with this build, you basically have to go in the uh, mob's face, and you probably have to play Raymond. But um, even if you could make it through the boss, right, you would never get the boss done. Because the boss has like a gazillion HP. And also obviously I don't have mana picks at this point. But... Um, so the the way um, Charge Bolt is basically better is because it has like true area of effect, right? So the Charge Bolts explode. And if you had more charge of them, right, um, you can actually get stuff done. But um, you would have to jump with Raymond. And I'm not sure if I want to do that. But in this scenario, if I double or triple my damage, basically, which I could do, this might be, like, playable at least. I wonder if this is playable. See, there should be like stuff like more charge bolt projectiles. If there would be more charge bolt projectiles, this could be like a viable build. So you get more explosions basically. But if you do raiment and piercing, let's just try this real quick. Let me out. It's a little hard without Raymond's bosses. <laughs> but if you had Raymond and Piercing, you can just use the um, Invigorating Conduit, basically. Let me just kill this guy so I can pot out here. Oh, thank you. Well, Shocking Impact only works once per mob. Don't, uh, it doesn't stack, right? Well, I mean, again, this is not... I, I, I don't have, like, a playable build right now, right? I'm just doing, like, bullshit. Um, it's, the point is not um, running away from them. Um, the point is um, finding 
something which at least has some damage potential. If I find something which has damage, damage potential, I can build on that. Where's my super raiment? Here it is. So I, I got like a, um, the extreme raiment. <laughs> Just call it the extreme one here. So with this charge bolts, I could get four times the damage easy. And I think it will work then. Maybe the boss not, but... What did it actually hit? Damage too close? I should reset this. So with Charge Bolt you have to do Raymond because you have to group the mobs. Uh... Otherwise you're not gonna do damage. But my la like the last um, iteration of my Charge Bolt build, I was also building uh, without the stuff. And was working pretty good. And I want to hit glass cannon, dude. Yeah, but teleport is not gonna be. Um, it's not gonna be for tier two hundred. It's great for hell tides and stuff like that, but you know you can hit for like two million a teleport or something like that. Um, wait. Yeah. Okay, this is glass cannon now. This might actually be able to get five to glass cannon, by the way. So if we are glass cannon, then for real. I mean, I didn't check teleport yet. It's it's one thing I want to check as well. Um, but I don't think it scales that high. There's a lot of additive teleport damage nodes you can temper. Like, I think there's like additive teleport damage plus 200% and you can get like three of those or so, or two. And um, the 500% X is significant. Um, you you mean with Meteor Enchant? I tried that, but it didn't really feel good. Like the conjurations was, like the other enchantments were just much better. The Meteor drops too slow. It's just my um, I don't know. And also maybe the chance is just too low on Meteor Enchant. It it just wasn't like working out so good. The problem with Esadora is it will never work, because it will just proc like a couple of Novas here and there. But the problem is um, that the crackling energy amount is limited. So there cannot be more than... I think like it's it's probably like somewhere around 20 crackling energy balls on the ground. And that's why um, this amulet doesn't work. You can get a couple of Novas out of it. But it's not enough. I wonder why this has such a terrible intelligence roll, by the way. Like, the base roll of this is garbage. Anyway, let's just finish this. Oh, well, this hit like the worst possible attributes ever. Anyway, let's just try to put this on. Uh, we have to get Stormswell somewhere now. Uh, not Stormswell, Juggernaut. Chicken out. Button gun. I mean, what else are you going to do? I mean, the, the thing is, you know, the builds are all not going to be terrible, but um, I mean, Chain Lightning is just has been terrible all the time. It has only worked with Barber to turn single target damage into um, AoE damage. But besides that, it has always been terrible. Uh, let's just do Juggernauts. Okay, so we have 20, 22k armor. It's like a little much. <laughs> Who cares? 
Uh, where's my skills? Ah, I lost my defensive skills. Okay. Um... So... Wait. Where can I get some points? Just remove ice blades here. Uh, what is missing? What is missing? What is missing? Ice blades, right? Should already should probably have ice blades, but you know, doesn't matter for this. Just test again. Where's resource? Yeah, I mean, you're not supposed to die. But let's check this out now. How much... So now we should do significantly more damage because if we port on the mobs, um, usually what happens is you get like... Um, let me, I cannot change it. So I will run out of mana because I don't have Invigorating Conduit. But you can get Invigorating Conduit, for example, from item. But what happens now is... You know, if you, um, wait, where's tele- oh, wait, wrong hotkey. Right, if you teleport on a group, you can spam. If these wouldn't be fortified, they would already be dead, obviously. Okay, let's just repeat this. Uh, this is like garbage without fixing your mana first. Ugh. I really don't want to put mana cost reduction on my gear now. <laughs> but basically they all explode, right? So, I mean, I cannot see anything because there's damage numbers. But, okay, these have more health. Just change this. No damage numbers, please. So just imagine I would double the damage once again. I mean, this wouldn't be super viable. Well, like you're not supposed to die in there. Like if you are, if you're dying, you are doing like high levels. Can I get out of there, please? So if I get like... I don't know if this has potential. I mean I can I can get four times the damage basically with fixing everything. Like fixing devouring blaze on amulet and stuff like that. Um would we'll probably have to go for flicker steps and teleport enchantment, I guess. No, probably not, actually. But this is, like, I don't really see a reason to play this if you can play Arklish, right? Because Arklish is going to be significantly stronger than this. So, really, the only um, build which is likely possible is going to be Arklish because you're going to have permanent unstable currents without a very high investment. And um, Arklish is, like if you if you telestomp into mobs anyway, Arklish is probably gonna do way more damage than this one here. So maybe that's one more thing we can try is Arklish. Because there's like, you know, you can get crazy damage on Arklish now. So maybe we'll try Arklish. I have Arklish gear as well. The good thing about Arklish is you don't need mana fix. So you can get pure damage basically. Um, 
just remove all this stuff here. Can go for reverse mastery, that's fine. And Arctus, you can also pick like any lucky hit enchantments, basically. And then, you know, as soon as I find something which does enough damage to be actually playable, I will um, do something out of this. So let me just uh, be quick here. I have something with basic skills. So we use Pain Gorgeous, obviously, then. I think I got a better one. This one here, right? Like this has 180. Six crit, eight attack speed. Okay, this is better. But all these uniques are so weak because they don't have intelligence or like strong stats. Like I feel like the uniques are significantly weaker than all the other items. And then I have this pants here with three two basic skills, basically, which we can use. And let's try this. So wait, we gotta do Raymond. Yeah, it depends on the unique, but I mean, these are probably, these are good, but these are bad against bosses. But you know, if you play Arklish, you probably still have to play these. I think fire will work though, but okay, we don't want to hit all stats here. I don't, I don't understand why the uniques like haven't been made any stronger. Like it doesn't really match the um, the whole uh, seam. It's nice. Yeah, maybe if you could temper the uniques, no, even twice, I would say. That would be alright, actually. Like, for example, if you look at the intelligence on Raymond, this has a greater affix intelligence and it just has 82. Like, a regular item with a greater affix has... Uh, but well, this is just a regular, right? Without greater ethics, it has like a hundred or so. So the intelligence roll is so much weaker. I don't really see a reason for that. They seem just to not have adjusted the uniques at all. Ah, come on. They didn't have to hit the basic skill damage. Anyway. Uh, so let's uh, get with this... So what do you have here? World in Realms probably, right? I can do another giveaway. What do you need? I just want to try one build before I do it again. Uh, wait. I want to do anything good in here now, right? Nope. All garbage. We have the fortune already. Oh. But I don't need the fortune on Arklash, actually. I don't even know what you would want of Arklash. Like, for example, the tempers for these are, like, just terrible. Like, all of them are just t completely junk. What am I doing? Why is the life roll so low? This is, like, the lowest life roll I've ever had. Anyway, let's go with this.
I mean, you also have to uh, think about I'm benchmarking pit level 200, right? For example, this charge bolt is probably easily going to work until like level 150 or so. But I really want to find another build which is able to clear 200. I mean, we will give feedback, but obviously, you know, don't don't think like, that we do like test like every little garbage thing, right? We test the things which are important. And that's just basically how the builds are playing and everything. This, this, that's the things we are testing. We're not testing, you know, is there like a bugged Helltide event XYZ? And does that happen only in Helltide, whatever? That's why, that's why basically I'm testing the builds. Because that is, like, way more important to me. Um, okay, so... Wait, we have this, we have this. We could use Moonrise now. Um, then what, what else do we need? So we would want to have... Um, two damage stats, right? Let's just reroll these Chain Lightning things. They are garbage anyway. At least this one I can. Uh, what is it? Weapons, right? So we go for elemental search. And the button is gone again. That is really annoying with the button. Of course that's going to be happening. You can already see like Sorceress is like completely terrible. Because lightning sucks. It has always been sucked. And, you know, Fire will probably be all right. And Blizzard has always been the best build. Besides the completely broken Frozen Orb now. But, um, yeah. No, wait, this one here. Uh, weapons, Elemental Search. Why is the goddamn button not here? This is, like, so annoying. So I have to reset the master working to get this button now. That is also something. And now, I hate this. This is really annoying. It doesn't make any sense to me that you have to do this. Shadow damage. That's good. We want that. Ah, God damn it! Where's the alchemist? I mean, we have to wait for the final balancing here, I guess. But I mean, Chain Lightning wasn't playable last season. Chain Lightning isn't playable on PTR. Chain Lightning basically hasn't been playable ever. <laughs> I mean, it's playable, but, you know, the Chain Lightning just doesn't do the damage. The problem is, if a single target spell, which does the same damage than an AoE spell, doesn't make any sense. The single target spell should do at least four or five times the damage of an AoE spell. Okay. Uh... Alright, lucky hit shadow damage. I didn't want to hit that. Yep, that's what you're gonna do. Yeah, I don't know where the five at a time comes. That's also something which makes no sense. Like, you need, like, 30 of these materials. So why would you make it five at a time? Just make it a hundred at a time? <laughs> it's, like, random stuff, right? It's like they want you to use these absolutely annoying UIs. That's just what it feels like. So I want to have Arklish just some damage. It 
basically does, yes. Okay. So, can I temper this? Temper zero, that's bad. I need a, I need a new wand. Let's find a new one. Do I have any old one which I can just change? Wait, where's my wands? Temper zero. Temper zero. Wait, don't tell me I don't have any unbricked wand. <laughs> Uh, that is so terrible. They're all temper zero, so I have to use a random one now, I guess. What are you gonna do? Let's use. We want int attack speed. Let's use one of the int attack speed ones here. Okay. So I also feel like the weapon ones are pretty weak, right? It's only just casting twice, right? It's this is also spark cast twice, chain lightning cast twice, charge bolt trust. It's and teleport nova size, but everything else is just cast twice, and. Meteor size, I guess, is okay, but, you know, other than that, it's just casting twice. So I feel like it's a little boring, honestly. And the button is gone once again. But if this doesn't work, I go to fire. Fire is gonna work. Meteor is gonna work. Don't worry. Uh, wait, let me just, uh... So now we have to hit wait, shadow. This has a better shadow roll than. Well, actually, who cares, right? I can't just re-roll. Wait, what? Zero temp? I don't understand this zero tempers. It's like such a stupid number. Why wouldn't they show me the um, ones which are left? They show me I have tempered it once. It's like so stupid. I don't get it. Uh, okay. Deal physical damage. And I have to select it every time, which is also extremely annoying. Poison damage. That's one which we wanted. So the Conjuration, by the way, is not too bad if you get, like, Conjuration damage. So the only other thing which might be working is pure Conjurations. But I don't really see a, um, a reason to play pure Conjurations with uh, having the Frozen Orb Conjurations being, like, 15 times better. So now I basically have the two extra Tarasha stacks, right? That's, like, the point of these. Um... Yeah, I mean, Fireball Meteor is the only other thing I have in the book right now, right? This is this is like the last lightning build. I mean, Teleport you can do, but it's going to be a fun build. Yeah, Frozen Orb Enchant, Chain Lightning, like, you're not gonna get damage out of this. Frozen Orb Enchant is basically just utility. It does freeze, it does vulnerable and stuff like that, but it doesn't do damage by itself. I just feel like they gotta work a little bit on the balancing.
One more thing you can try is the maximum uh, Azadora's build, but I don't think that's gonna be any good. Okay, this is alright, I take this. Uh, okay, so let's do this. We have everything what we need for charge bolts, right? Let's do some aspects. So we wanna have moon, no, not a moonrise, we wanna have hectic. Oh, for hectic we need other boots, right? Hectic, or can hectic go on a helmet? It's hectic. Hectic can go on. Cannot get on a helmet, nice. Wait, did coming also go on the pants? Did they change that? Yes. But the button is gone. <laughs> yeah, I want to test incinerate also. I mean, it's not even... I mean... I don't really see a reason for testing Meteor and Fireball because literally there has been no changes at all other than getting multiple projectiles and like Meteor, um, like more range, like more um, radius. So I don't really like see a whole lot of interesting stuff in there. Um, I might just want to... Well, I'm not going to have Life Leech if I get rid of this, but anyway. Hectic. Okay, then we need adaptability. Adaptability. Why can't I find find that? Oh, that's a resource, right? Adaptability. Oh, I got only the terrible one. Oh, this is terrible. Uh. uh <laughs> Anyway, let's do it. Nah, we're not gonna do this. This is too low rolled. We're not gonna use this. I'm rather gonna use um, Storm Thrill. And here we wanna do unstable currents on our amulet, which is overwhelming currents. Okay, so we got. Do we got Moonrise already? No. Moonrise. Okay, so and then we want to have Rapid Aspect. Okay, so we have Unstable Currents, we have Storm's Well. Okay, let's see what it does. And now we want to have Paragon Board. Doesn't really need to change anything, right? This is obviously useless. So let's just get some random damage again here. Uh, doesn't even matter. Or maybe we should get these defenses here again. Okay, that's gonna be fine. Um, we still use the reinforced now. Again, still a little bit temporary. Um, Elementalist is fine. Exploit is fine. Charged we can actually use, I guess, if we just put like a little bit of crackling energy in our skill tree. So let's get damage reduction and then we, let's just get um, crackling energy from ball lightning. That's going to be fine. And then we want to get worse mastery. That's good. We don't need cooldown reduction from anything. What am I going to do with these points? <laughs> Ice blades, I guess. No. What am I going to do with these points?
I got three points. Six of them. We could get Horfrost and Freeze somehow. Don't have Freeze. Could get more Barrier. Could bump Lightning Spears. <laughs> doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Fireball Enchant doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's just get random stuff then, I guess. Yeah, maybe. I don't know if it's better than this, though. Anyway, let's try. Try what happens. Uh, did I get ice blades? No. So let's see if it's at least viable. We have max resistance, by the way. Yeah, I have crap ton of intelligence. Uh, attack speed. Yeah, but Firewall um, has never been doing significant damage. Wait, what? What was that? Why do I get like... I just want to try the build and I get like ugly fortified mobs instantly. Just leave me alone, boys. I mean, this at least does damage. Right? But it doesn't have the crowd control. Boom. Da -da -da -da. Guess this is fine. I mean, I don't have Undying. If I had Undying, this would be way easier, obviously. Because I don't have any, like, kind of <laughs> defenses. Oh god, my gear's broken. I just feel like you don't want to play a melee build versus this. No, Charge Bolt's garbage still. I mean, I'm not saying that it's garbage, but I'm looking for something which can do tier 200. And that's not going to be Charge Bolt. Uh, can I have damage numbers? Uh. Yeah, I mean, you can you could get like a lot of crowd control duration, but my crowd control is not long enough to even get these down. I mean, these at least hit for like a little bit of damage. I mean, it's hard without teleport enchantment. <laughs> I don't think it works. I think the damage is just too low in general. For this kind of content. I 
I mean, these hit for like 200k. And again, even like, you can easily double this. But, um, like, even if you double this. Maybe this could work with Meteor, though. I mean, this this needs Undying, basically, for Life Leech. And you have to um, change uh, Boots for that, which is not an issue, actually. You can definitely change Asus. Well, basically, nothing helps with survivability in this tier 200s. You cannot stack enough uh, damage reduction. As you can see, even if I play it right now, I have Burst Mastery, I have the damage reduction from Charge Bolts, I have the damage reduction from the other, um, from Burning, I have the dam- So I have like 150% damage reduction in this uh, mode, and you still get one shot, basically. So damage reduction doesn't really work. You need high barrier on top of damage reduction. Yeah, exactly, you need to CC for uh, fast and kill. That's pretty much it. And that is not going to happen with this, even if you, um... Uh, da, 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 you. Let me just do with, um... Let me just try undying here real quick. Uh, no, one here. I just don't see the potential. So even if I would try to figure this out with teleport cooldowns and everything, um, first of all, um, Raymond is making you pretty squishy. The rolls on it are pretty bad, just gives you like a little bit of extra damage. So yeah, um, I okay, I, I, I know what I have to do here. Why do I get so many, uh, just from the ball lightning enchant, I get so many uh, bubbles. I mean, you can do temerity, for example, with undying and you will have like a huge permanent barrier. I can change skills in here. They all have potential, but not for tier 200. Uh, no, Fireball build basically just has one unique, it's just the gloves. So, a Fireball build will be pretty strong with Starfall Coronet, I guess. I mean, yeah, it's, I guess it's two uniques, Starfall Coronet and uh, the gloves. But that's not too many uniques, if you ask me. Uh, 200 is the max tier. Uh, what, what was I going to do? Um... Oh, yeah, I wanted to change. Overflowing energy. You have always been ignoring the stuff. The stuff for Fireball is not good, has never been good. Like basically all the 200 uniques are like terrible. It's just like way too big of a downside to use them. You lose two full aspect slots by just choosing them. I need more cooldown reduction, then we'll be alright. I mean, I mean, I still get one shot by everything, basically. <laughs> and I mean, I know I only have 14k health um, because I don't have gems. But um, even if I had more health. Okay. 
promise I cannot put gems in these because I don't have the materials to socket. So just like a side note here. Maybe I should, uh, well, I cannot really play this without having the health pool. But this at least does some damage. Obviously, I'm missing the cooldown reduction at this point. And I'm not playing Hectic right now because I play Asus Boots, which is something I have to change. I mean, even I, I cannot even put gems in there because I don't have the materials to socket the gear. So even if I wanted to, it would not really work. But I mean, this has been by far doing the most damage which is kind of expected but um yeah this is just a melee build that's the problem here i mean you could work with crawl control duration and everything but you would still die like you don't have the damage reduction to this is basically like aoz like, it's probably the same damage level than, like, tw tier 25 AOZ, like, incoming damage-wise. And this build cannot sustain it, no matter what you do. You cannot get so much damage reduction. There's just not enough access to damage reduction anymore. And also, it doesn't really work like it. You can get the armor cap. Yeah, of course, you can get more maximum life here. But, you know, it's also not going to work, I feel like. So I guess it's try to uh, time for Inferno. Well, boss, twenty two minutes important. So at this point, I guess I just scratch it and let's go Inferno. That's going to be interesting. Yeah, but DR is, like, it's not true because DR is not impactful at all, basically. I don't know how it works, but um, DR basically has never been impactful unless you were getting, like, 300 percentage, 250 percent plus or something like that. And um, there's just ch something wrong with the damage scaling overall. Like, it's just they scale um around monster damage which is something you don't want to do you want to scale monster hp not damage you want to make slow um increasing damage but not high damage spikes it's something you don't want to do if because you have no way of mitigating i mean you can play temerity with maximum i mean you you can definitely build defenses i mean you could build charge bolt defensively you can play um a lot of maximum life, a lot of barrier, basically, which is technically going to work. You can use Temerity together with Undying, which gives you, like, a huge barrier. Um, but still, if a group of mobs comes out of crowd control, you're dead. No matter how much mitigation you have at that level, at tier 200, if any group comes out of crowd control ever, you're just going to die. Period. Like, there's nothing you can do. You cannot mitigate that damage on Sorceress at all. That's a little bit unfortunate, but that's like, that's the current state of the game and the staling. Um, obviously, there's dodge. And I think you can reach, like, almost 100% dodge chance. Um, I haven't tried that out, though. I 
think all of well, I, I honestly I think Rogue has done can do it, Bob can do it. I haven't watched the other classes though. Um But yeah, how about Inferno? I wanna do Inferno. <laughs> Inferno uh, not Inferno, Incinerate, right? I have like these four to incinerate gloves. Well, tier 200 is has like so many more mobs. Uh, like the mobs have like more HP basically, like a lot more HP. And they do like crazy amounts of damage. So really, as soon as they come out of stun, you're going to die. I mean, you could probably do the Arclash. If you have the perfect gear, you can probably make it through the dungeon with Arclash. But you're going to have a hard time. But, you know, it's it's probably going to work. But it requires like a lot of building. And I just want to try the builds now. So I'm probably going to try the Inferno story. Which might actually be interesting now. So... I just want to do Inferno. That's that's a pretty easy fireboard, right? We can build that from the top of my head. Elementalist. Let's get one more int. Yeah, the boss at the end is, like, just face it, like, even if you would do the Arklash build and if you would make it through the dungeon, you will not kill this boss with Arklash. Like, no chance on earth you will do it. It ha The boss has crazy amounts of HP and Arklash is not going to beat it, ever. Never, ever. And then it spawns Shadow Clones, which all one-shot you, by the way. So even if you could beat it in, like, a reasonable amount of time, you have to dodge, like, a gazillion uh, one-shot mechanics. So that's probably not going to be very, uh, very interesting for you. Uh, what was I going to do? Uh, let's do... Sorry, I'm confused right now. Enchantment Master, right? Yeah. Let's just do these for now. Let's actually build it the correct way. Petition. I wanted to always now I can play this stupid torch. I have never played this, by the way. Increase burning damage, you deal. Inc no, this is like complete garbage. Why would you play this? It's not Torch, right? There's a different one. Pyromaniac. There's also garbage. But you can put it in the Searing Heat board. Let's go for Tactician. Uh, I need one more dexterity. Why this board has no dexterity? Oh, at the bottom. Let's do it like this. Through these points. Not This doesn't really work. Well, the maximum life notes here are actually pretty important. So... Actually, I don't think I want to have Tactician in here. Screw this. Let's go for... Wait, this... Can the first bot do willpower as well? I'm wondering if I can do the...
No, that's bullshit. What am I missing here? You really cannot play this? It's like stupid. So you really have to play Elementalist here and Tactician in the second board? I guess you could use... I don't know, maybe we just go without this whole... Um, maybe we just don't value these non fist damage nodes so heavily. I feel like the non fist damage nodes get um, overvalued in the new uh, version, basically. So you could, for example, use an enchanter here. Which uh, with quite a bit of intelligence. Right, this has like... Well, it has 65. Plus like a lot of points though. Anyway, let's... No, I'm not playing this. This is bullshit. This is... Let's just play some random note here. Let's just go for... Uh... Just do flame feeder or something like that. Right, flame feeder does only direct damage. We cannot use flame feeder. Let's use exploit. Okay, this is also like the worst board you can build, probably. I don't care. I'm just gonna go with this for now. Oh, we wanna have Burning Instinct. Not gonna build the perfect board now, but so we wanna go through. So maybe we wanna uh, rotate this. This is the ones we need, right? Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. What do we get here? I guess that's all right. Just the most random board ever here. Tactician. I mean, this like glyphs is like impossible. Just give me a search function there. Okay, then we have Searing Heat. Do we need anything of Searing Heat? Increased crits and deal direct damage? No. So, Burning Instinct scales off critical strike damage, right? Yeah, but it's just 10%. I feel like this is not going to be very strong. Um, I mean, I, I think Ice Shards can work, but I don't really see the buffs for Ice Shards there. I mean, again, they their builds will all work, but they will not work in tier 200, most likely. Okay. So 
So we go for what pyromaniac? Is that even a thing? Pyromaniac takes willpower, right? It's actually also not a very good glyph just for a ten percent. I feel like these like these burning damage glyphs are garbage. Um So destruction gives crit damage like 200%, right? So this one gives, that would be a 20% multiplicative. So I guess, is it good? 20%? Probably all right. I guess we can do destruction. is like not the board for destruction though how do you even play this there's like no glyphs for burning damage what is this like literally i don't have any other glyph i can play other than control <laughs> that's like stupid Yeah, but Torch is complete garbage. Why would you use Torch? Torch basically gives you 12%. No, it doesn't give you anything. It gives you a little additive damage, but that's it. Like, I don't want to do damage for nearby enemies. That's, like, pretty bad. I don't even know how to play this bad, honestly. <laughs> There's no glyphs. How do you play burning? How much int does this board have? Let's see. 55. Oh, there's three more. So I guess we play this. This is like extremely strange, if you ask me. Why there is no... Uh... So crit damage gives multiplicative, but not a lot. So I guess you would just scale burning damage out of something else. I don't know, it's like kind of weird. Uh... I'm just gonna do a random board. In the end, it will not matter so much. I just wanna see if the build has potential, if that's something I can work on. Uh, this is good. Uh, 51 points left. I guess we go for Frigid Fade, right? Uh, where do we enter this? There. This is like really, really strange. I don't even know what to put in here now. Control? Will they ever be stunned? I don't know. Probably not. So there's really no playable glyphs. Territoria.
Honestly, I have no clue what you would even play. I guess you have to play the, the garbage glyph somehow. Like I don't really see any other option. This bot can do willpower. I mean, maybe you want to go for Torch. I think it's better, even. It just gives a little bit of additive damage, but, you know. <laughs> they are basically all junk. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, how do you even get burning damage? <laughs> I mean, there's like a couple of nodes you can do. But I don't really find any damage in this at all. I mean, you can bump the non here. But other than that, I don't really find any damage. I mean, even if I would put another bot, I really don't have anything I can use. I can just get some additive damage, but that's it. Okay. Let's go for crit damage here. <laughs> Uh, what else do we have? Damage reduction from burning? Whatever. Let's just take some random notes here. Can I get some more decks somewhere? Uh, let's see. Okay, I need one more decks. I, this is like not a good board, by the way, but you know, it's got to be good enough. Okay, so this is burning, right? It, at least it gives 90% burning damage, but I guess um, we will see. Well, it's supposed to immobilize anything before it hits you. <laughs> um... I guess the strong part of the burning is the aspects, right? So we have... Incinerate, beams... I mean, this is... 40%. This is fairly strong, I would say. This could go on amulet. I mean, the damage for the explosion is, like, extremely low once again. Like, it should be, like, way, way higher. Wait, so we don't need Pain Gorgeous. We don't need Asus Boots. I mean, I have crit chance on my gear now, obviously. That has to go. Um, what is the other burning aspect there? Over time or something like that. I don't I don't know if this is gonna be good. I have to check. Where's the other burning with the with the three beams? Incinerage. Flame thrower, right? Okay, so then we put some damage. I mean, obviously, I have... I don't know, does Incinerate do something with attack speed at all? Like, I gotta kind of have to understand how it works. Okay. So let's just put some boots. So I can use any boots basically, right? I 
Let's just use these random boots here. I mean, I could use penitent griefs. <laughs> Uh. Yeah, but it's just like 40%. That's literally nothing. It's gonna give me like 4% damage or something like that. Um. Wait, do, I, I had incinerate gloves somewhere, right? Where's the incinerate ones? Oh wait, I forgot the flame scar wand. You want to have that? Okay, this is incinerate. No. Where is it? Ah, I have them in my inventory already. Okay, so I want to have the flame scar, I guess. Flame scar. Oh, I already have it in my inventory as well. I'm pretty smart. Uh, do I want to have this? Probably, right? I mean, actually, it does nothing, right? It gives me four ranks to incinerate, and the other stats are, like, complete garbage. Like, the embers do, like, 1.8k damage. Would you even care? Like, that's literally nothing, right? And you can throw it in the trash. So I guess this is not any good. So let's do the incinerate gloves here real quick. Uh, pyromancy. So what do we have? Pyromancy. Fire damage over time. I'm going with natural. Just give me damage, dude. This is like so stupid. You're not gonna have more attack speed on PTR, basically. It's... Wait, did it hit the goddamn lucky hit chance? Yes, it did. So you're not gonna have more um, attack speed on PTR. The the breakpoint is still 100%. So where would you where would the burning damage come from? I mean, obviously you put hydras. And then you do like the the burning whatever thing, like the, the key passive. But other than that, is there any burning damage anywhere? <laughs> it's just like very disappointing uh, choosing those glyphs and having like literally nothing for burning. How can it hit the same lucky hits thing like 500 million times? Like really depressing. Ah, plus five to incinerate. That's what I wanted. We're gonna incinerate everything. Wait, when is world boss? Did I miss it? Of course I missed it. God damn it. No sockets for me. Um Didn't I stash these yellow things somewhere? Nope. No yellow things for me. I think if you want to play an incinerate build, everything should shotgun in front of you and should die. If that's not going to work, like, I'm not going to play an incinerate build. That's just my feeling I have there. 
if it's too weak, if the damage is not there at all, then uh, I don't see the point. But that's okay. Like, if the other builds are not tier 200 viable, then that's, just, that's what it's gonna be. Yeah, I have the triple beam on amulet. What did I get? Damage? That's alright. I'll take that. I just feel like this is pretty weak. I don't think there's ever a build with Oculus which is going to be more than a fun build. Does uh, Incinerate scale with attack speed, by the way? Or do you just put raw damage, basically, if you want to do burning? It's got a tick with attack speed, right? So what, so it doesn't, so you have no crit and no attack speed? So it basically works with nothing? <laughs> Okay, let's get rid of this Raymond. Uh, get this one again. So we we will see, right? Let's just test this. So we have the shadow damage, we have the poison damage, which is fine. It doesn't really matter if it procs barrier or not. It teleports you to a random location, which makes it a fun item. So you cannot really play it in a real build. Um, incinerate. Increase damage to vulnerable. Okay, chance. I don't even know if I need that. Any other interesting burning aspects? Burning. This one here, right? You probably want to play it, even though it's probably bad. Uh, where is it? On the button! <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you gotta get them to below 50% health, then it's maybe gonna be good. But yeah, I mean, if you put crit damage on every single item to get the burning multiplier, you know, that's the only way I can see it, like, working. But you want to have Hydra with this. Um... Definitely want to have Hydra. Do you want to have Hydra? The problem is, what do you even play on your amulet? Like, I don't even have an aspect for that. Let's just try. I'm just trying with damage now. I just want to see if it does damage. Okay, so let's do some burning stuff here. Wait, why have still basic skill? I still have the wrong pants on. Where's my pants? Pants, pants, pants. Okay, so now I have undying, I have evade. I can get one more. Wasn't there like another burning unique? I don't even remember. Uh. 
what do we get? We get Undying. If that even works with Burning, I don't know. We will see. I guess we can just go forever living now. I don't know. I have never played channeling. So we will find out now. Okay. So, skill tree. I mean, it does, like... 100k damage per second? That doesn't sound all that bad, actually, right? What is... Probably... You probably can do immobilize through lucky hit, I would assume. This is core skill, right? Okay, I want to have... Hydra. Did I put Hydra? No. Let's not do Hydra for now. Just see what this does. Obviously, I have no amulet with damage for this. So you would not need Devouring Blaze because it doesn't do anything, right? Uh, then you would probably do Firewall Enchant or something like that. I, I don't know. We will figure it out. You would probably want to have Inferno here. You need the combustion. Okay, then you need endless pyre, right? And maybe this one here. Your research, why not? I have like infinite skill points. Let's go for firewall with this. Okay, I still have, like, so many skill points. Let's just try. Let's just see what happens. I don't know if I need to cast Firewall. I, I just want to figure out what, what's going to happen. Um, Wait. What would be the other enchant you play on here? Like, something with Lucky yet, maybe? <laughs> I don't even know, like... <laughs> Maybe the incinerate, whatever. Let's see. Let's go for the dummies and see what happens. No. I highly doubt that... This will proc uh, Meteor. If I can't proc Meteor with multiple projectiles of Chain Lightning, how is Incinerate gonna proc that? But let me see if this does any damage. Wait, what? I didn't do anything. What is happening there? Oh, that's the little flame? Hey, this actually does damage and it's just a little flame. Look at this. But the angle is like so terrible. Why, why would you make an angle where you cannot shotgun? Can you shotgun with this? Okay, you can definitely shotgun with this if you, like, go into the face. But this actually ticks pretty high, right? Three million? If there would be a good angle on this stupid aspect. Okay, but they're not getting immobilized. Lord. So let's change this to immobilize. I mean... I don't know if this aim, if, if this has anything to do with the tech speed. So let's see what the highest tick we get here is. Like 1.5k-ish. We would probably want to use x faults here, right? So 1.5k. It's funny that the, 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 the snake is like 
The snake seems to be like spawning crazy amount of firewalls. I mean, I didn't even... Like, it costs no mana, basically, right? I didn't even add Inferno. No. Cooldown reduction is multiplicative, which is which uh, each itself. So the more cooldown reduction you stack, the less impact it will have. So let's add Meteor Enchantment to this, maybe. Where's my helmet? I mean, this is probably bad, right? Let's just add the Meteor Enchantment here and see if this procs. Well, I guess the number of Meteor procs here is extremely underwhelming. It's not basically doing anything here. So... I would really be interested if attack speed has anything to do with this. Can I just get something without attack speed? Uh, this has attack speed. Just change this. Let's just make a little test here if attack speed uh, does anything. So this has... How, do, how would I even test this? I would have to have the exact same items. <laughs> Can I google this? Attack speed for burning damage. I think it does not do anything, right? I mean, but this could stack pretty high, actually. Uh, yeah, uh, incinerate attack speed d4. Okay. Let me reach. So nobody can tell me. Attack speed does directly affect the channeling portion. Okay. So they say it works. I'm not sure if that's true though. Why would you use ASU passive? That's not gonna do anything. Well, I I wrote I wrote like three sources and they all say it does. But you know, let me just uh check how much damage I can do in the level 200. Because um, you can definitely... I mean, I have a lot of lucky hit and stuff like that. Which I don't really use, I guess. Um, again, I don't even know what my second enchantment would be. So I just go with the incinerate for now. 
Um, I guess you would have to do some kind of lucky hit based enchantment. Yeah, I know. But um, um, I think it's it's gonna be um, you gotta use Hydra. Just my feeling that if you had if you add Hydra, you're gonna do like a good amount of extra damage there. But I just want to try like how much damage these do against tier two hundred. I just hate that the beams are like a static, not forward pointing thing. Well, this does no damage at all. It also doesn't immobilize at all, so you definitely need a solution to stun these guys. Like a lightning spear. It did way more damage on the dummies. Okay, let me just put lightning spear. <laughs> no, it can't. Incinerate size? Okay, isn't that just length? But, um, let's check something here. Uh, lightning Spear. I wanted to get Lightning Spear. Ah, oh, I can't it just point in this goddamn... Why the hell? I mean, I have no damage passives and anything, so again, there's like, you can do much more damage than this, obviously. But you would have to kind of get crowd control somehow. Then really see how to do this. I always think like, you know, if I can get four times more damage, will this be viable or not? Right, because I can easily get four times more damage if I focus on it. But the immobilize was like way too slow. I felt like, I don't know, you, you would need to like have duration for that, first of all. Like so blanky. I mean, I killed one pack. I mean, there's like Inferno cooldown reduction, which you can use, obviously. What? I'm stunned? <laughs> <That's what laughs> this damage is like not there. How are you getting immobilized from fireball enchant? Yeah, that's that's what I say. Like, 
I mean, if, if the mobs die instantly, it's gonna be easy, right? But I mean, this literally does no damage whatsoever. Even if you could stand still for long enough. Um... I mean, you can do like this one here, right? You can like uh, do the clicks with Frozen Orb enchantment, I guess, but that's like a weird build. <laughs> I cannot even kill them. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's not interesting for me. Like the damage again. I have to. Ha it has to be ten times this to be viable. I mean, even if I go like into the inferno, it takes for like three million, which is basically nothing. Like three million a second. It's nothing. It should be like it had it has to be like fifty million or something like that to be viable. So even if I had the best gear, I mean I could probably like you know get a little bit higher. Oh yeah, x faults We could use x faults But x faults won't... The problem with x faults is, right, um, it, it's not gonna do any damage because we scale the burning damage and the x faults explosion is not gonna scale off burning damage. So that that's the issue with x faults In general, the item concept doesn't really make too much sense. Um, but I can try what happens if I use it. Do I, even ha I, I don't think I have one. I don't have an X Falls. That's the only unique I didn't drop yet. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not working. But you know, it doesn't matter. Like whatever defensive aspects you choose, um, it's not gonna change anything. So, I mean, even if I could get, I mean, I already have eighteen hundred intelligence, right? That's pretty strong. Um, you can get a little bit more, but, you know, you can get, obviously, like, a passive on your um, amulet, which actually does something. I get all that. So, then you can get, um, what is this, uh, journal? So, there is, I think it is, uh, the, the, the pyromancy. So fire damage over time, well, it's just 75% though. That's not very strong. And here you can get incinerate size, yeah. So I don't know. I, I don't think it's going to do anything, honestly. I don't think it's going to work. Even with immobilized duration and everything. But let me try with um, Hydra once. That's something I wanted to test. Because if we put three Hydras, um, that's gonna be a lot of burning sources, which might stack the damage. Uh. Of course, I have no button, right? Our Fist of Fate is 
completely out of the game. Pistol Fate also doesn't scale. It has like absolutely no stats. So basically all the other old uniques are worthless with the new items itemization system. Yeah, that's... I mean... I can make it do more damage. Yes, absolutely. Um, the question is, can I... Can I make it do five times more damage? Right? I, I'm... You know, it might be actually possible to make it do like five times more damage. Might be something which is uh, workable. The problem is I don't know if it scales of attack speed or not. And it's really hard to find out. No, you can probably go for five times. I mean, it depends if it scales on attack speed. So I have a lot of attack speed and lucky hit everywhere. And if I remove all the attack speed and all the lucky hit and replace it by crit damage, right, I get a, a very high multiplier. Wait, let me put high res here. So why are these not getting immobilized? I don't understand. Am I doing something wrong here? He should be getting immobilized all the time, right? How is he not getting immobilized at all? Now he gets for like a split second. So how, how, how is this gonna work? Inferno cooldown reduction and have Inferno for every pack? think the Hydras are doing anything. So... I don't know. Like the immobilized procs are just like not enough, I feel like. And I have very high lucky hit chance. I don't know. I don't think this is going anywhere. That's pretty disappointing. I mean, this is not even elites. Maybe with frost burns. Do you think this works with frost burns and shared misery? Let me try this. Incinerate lucky hit, yeah, but it's for one second. Or how how long does it uh, go? Um, two seconds. So the the fourteen percent is calculated over two seconds. So it's actually not that terrible. I mean, it's it's obviously terrible, but it's not that terrible. But I mean, how how do you um, like how would you possibly play Inferno if you cannot get the mobs like out of your face? Like, there's nothing for you to stay alive, basically, right?
So pretty much the only thing which is left is Meteor here. I mean, even if you would put crit damage and... Like, you could... I guess you could get like three or four times the damage of that easy. Without any issues. Yeah, okay, Frost Nova is probably an option. <laughs> uh, but it's that's that's not gonna be that's not gonna be working for me, that build. It's like super clunky. Like the whole channeling story, it's I don't know, it doesn't get me. It works good on the dummies though. So there's basically two builds left. There's like pure conjurations and meteor, obviously. Maybe meteor could be cool, but you know, I don't really see like uh I don't really see a reason in playing meteor size. Because the size of meteor is already big enough. Like even if you make it bigger, I don't think it changes a whole lot about the skill. So I feel like there has been really no changes to Fireball Meteor, but, you know, it might just... With the new breakpoints, it's probably good. Especially because um, the Burning Instinct node... No, it's the uh, Searing Heat node, right? Where is it? Searing Heat. The Searing Heat node. Okay, it's also, like, kept at 30%. So basically all Sword nodes are kept at 30%, which is, like, so terrible. So the whole new intelligence buffs and everything don't really give you anything for fire, so it, it doesn't scale. Right? So there's no way of scaling fire damage. They are all like kept at 30%. Um you could get more de well, well okay, so there's one thing, right? So let's make let's make this build. Because, you know, there's one thing I have in my stash here. And that is... Um, so I have these... Where's the gloves? So I have these gloves with Devouring Blaze Greater Ethics. And I'm um, not even talking about Firebolt. I think these can get plus 5 Devouring Blaze. So... This is going to be crazy amount of crit damage for fireball builds because it's literally a 50% damage multiplier. And, um, but, well, actually, I mean, you cannot play the bouncing fireball then, obviously. But I'm not sure how good, I mean, I have never played fireball without the bouncing. I don't know. I want to try Fireball last. I mean, probably. I don't. If you have a high, do you have like Fireball Explosion Radius in the manuals? Uh, tempering recipes. So you have. Da, 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 no. Okay, Fireball chance to cast twice. Okay, flame shot duration. Yeah. What the hell is Hydra resource cost reduction? That's the stupidest attribute I've ever seen. So I guess you could try Firewall. Fireball Meteor last. That has always been a solid build. And you could actually play this with a two-handed stuff now because you don't need the lucky hit. And you don't need the cooldown reduction in that build, basically. And since the um, two-handed staffs can now get attack speed, you could actually put the three curses aspect on there, which would give you like a crazy high damage scaling. Right, you don't want to play the fireball stuff. That is like garbage. Like it doesn't even give fireball ranks. Like it's it's like complete 
bullshit. I mean, I, I wonder if this stacks with... Uh, well, no, you cannot even... Uh, and if you choose this, you cannot even uh, get the fireball size. Uh, the fireball thing. Do you have any 200 weapon? I think I don't have any 200 weapon at all. Nope. Zero. But I mean, it probably works without. With 100% crit, a lot of attack speed. So let's do this Gloves of the Illuminator here. Last chance, Fireball Meteor. Fireball attack speed, do I really want to hit this? I guess. <laughs> okay, here's the problem I have with the uniques. I have 12.6% attack speed and I hit it two times. This one here... No, wait, let's, let's just find like some gloves here. So the uniques haven't been touched, right? So this one here is untouched, 12.5% attack speed. This unique, I hit it, I hit it two times and I have 12.6% attack speed. Like, uniques are like freaking weak. Like you cannot even play this. <laughs> That's just awful. It is max roll, right? 12.6. It's, it's the highest roll. On the base legendary, 12 point, isn't it? It was pretty high though, right? Oh, wow, it can get up to 50. Oh, okay, this is like really disappointing, honestly. Like, I think you cannot really use uniques at all. Like, I guess that's why the, the, the Frozen Orb build works so well, because it doesn't use any uniques, basically. <laughs> uh, do I have one with fireball ranks? Nah. I have one with core skills. I mean, you can just roll the fireball, actually. So... I mean, the lucky hit Fireball Meteor build without bouncing, would it work? Honestly, probably not. It's probably not gonna work without the bouncing. No, the amulet drops of Lord Zer. Uh... Wait, where's the gloves? Am I stupid now? There it is. I mean, that that is like really disappointing. Like, you know, after star I'm starting getting through all these builds, um, noticing that the unique items basically are untouched. Really? Meteor? Yeah, you're right. Meteor is called skill. I mean, it doesn't even... Like, basically, the only thing which will be good on this item to hit is going to be the um, fireball ranks. Because all other, the other things do not scale. Whatever, for a try, I guess it's good enough. But yeah, that's that's like a huge issue, actually. Um, 
I mean, I was very hyped at the very beginning because there was basically one good build, but now I am basically starting to notice how flawed this itemization system is. I mean, uniques are basically useless. And that is like a huge issue. All right, let's... Uh, but I mean, they can fix that, obviously. I don't think Firebolt is going to be the new Firewall. No, um, the the crit is... Well, you have to have a 100% movement speed bonus, right? So... Usually in the builds which use Asus, you will have 100% movement speed. Especially if you use conjuration based builds, you have 100% um, movement speed. Firebolt is not crazy. It does way less damage than Frozen Orb or other builds. It is okay for killing bosses. Yeah, I mean, you can kill... Again, it's okay for killing bosses, because you can shotgun them. And I guess if you get the extra projectiles, it can split twice, right? I mean, I haven't tested this, but... Um, if you get extra firebolt projectiles, it can probably split multiple times. I highly doubt that it does three times more damage than Frozen Orb on single target, but it might do. You know, I'm not gonna argue against it. But I only play all round builds. Yep, on target dummy, you can reach 200 million dot from the wait from the uh, from the base skill. I guess the boss da uh, bot dot damage is percentage, right? Yeah. I mean, there's there's crazy high basic skill scaling. That's true, though. But, you know, I really don't think it's going to work, like, outside of bosses, right? I think it's a good boss killer, even though um, you're also completely immortal, obviously, which is a good thing. Um... Okay, I hit the plus fireball once, I guess. No. But I mean, what, what do you want to do with a build which can just kill bosses? Is it even possible to hit the plus three? Well... Did you try a uh, pit uh, level 100 with it? A level 200? Because you're gonna have the same thing, right? You're gonna have no crowd control. Easy? How long did it take? Maybe I gotta try it. Yeah, you're right, it has infinite flame shield. <laughs> well, it depends, I guess. You know, there might be times where it's running out. Should I try Firebolt? What do you actually play? You just play basic skill damage and... 
Do you play Pain Gorgeous? Oh well. Yeah, I know. There's unfortunately I don't have the eighty percent one. I only have like a forty four, which is like super depressing. Maybe I have one in my stash, though. Adaptability. Nope. Want a quick gamble? That's the gambling guy. Oh, right here. So resource you can get on what now? Is it still rings? I think you can get resource on other items now, right? What's the best to gamble a resource aspect? Uh, resource, rings and amulets. Okay, so it's still rings. I mean, the odds were pretty bad. Wait, how do I get in there? <laughs> do I have to click the same rift? Ah, okay. Oh, sorry. It's okay, just, you know, we don't have to finish it. I just want to see it. Nice, can't click it. It's just so random. Wait, where are you? Oh, okay. I mean, that's not a whole lot of damage. I mean, it works, right? But... But it's fast. I mean, the damage is not bad. I mean, it's still like, you know, 10% of Frozen Orb. Now, maybe maybe 30%. I mean, it's two players, obviously, yeah. Correct. I don't think it's double. I think it's 50%, but not sure. I can see the damage.
So, do you scale the burning damage or do you scale the direct damage? You scale the direct damage, right? Why are they immobilized for so long? <laughs> Is that a bug? Or do you actually have like a mobilized duration? Okay. But I don't know, like... Huh? I think I, I see it differently. Let's freeze. But I mean, if you have, like, if you can get a uh, permanent flame shield with, like, double flame shield duration or even triple flame shield duration, I guess. You could skip all the defenses, basically. But I don't know, I, I would try Fireball. I haven't seen any of the visual intensifying at all, honestly. I don't know if that even exists. Wait, where's my Fireball gloves? Uh, am I stupid? This is master working for. Wait, if it says plus three core skills, does it actually affect? Wait, one second. Wasn't there like a glove which had plus three core skills? Does that actually affect Meteor? Mm, yes, it does. Interesting. So maybe... I don't know, I have to test this if it really works without gloves of the Illuminator. That's funny. Why do I always hit the same attribute? Is it even possible to hit the plus fireballs? Maybe it's not possible. <laughs> or maybe I'm just extremely unlucky. I wonder if you can hit that at all. But 
But I don't know, if you if you can play without the bouncing fireball, because you know you can have plus core skills on your gloves. So that will actually buff Meteor and Fireball. And then you can have mastery skills on your uh, pants, I believe. But I feel like Fireball doesn't work without the gloves. Oh, and boots, yeah. Didn't remember. But then you could basically get plus four Meteor from the helmet, plus three from your boots, and plus three from your gloves, so you would get plus 11 Meteor. Yeah, that's probably the truth there, because the main damage definitely comes from Meteor and not from Fireball. Fireball is more like, well, it's not a filler, it still does significant damage. But um, the major damage is definitely Meteor. Oh, I hit it, plus four. Also, you can get like double Fireball procs, obviously. And then I hit the lucky hit, of course. Yeah, but you will never hit all three. Like, just erase that from your brain. It's not gonna happen. The chance is 1%. You must be very lucky. Okay, I got a plus five. That's already amazing. <laughs> Wait, so... Let me just try it with the Tal Russia for now. Without the additional projectiles, because I really don't want to change too much. But we gotta get Asus boots again, right? Undying is fine. That is fine. That is also good. We can use this. So we need Devouring Blaze amulet. So I'm just gonna use this one and change it to Devouring Blaze for real. No button. And it's like three hours of re-rolling. And you know, probably it's it's also not the best roll. Because the one rank of Frozen Orb is very insignificant. And hitting like attack speed, for example, gives you like... I feel like it's probably way better. Just on this item, not because the base stats are so low. But probably on... Um, the other items, it's not the best to roll the frozen orb ranks. But I don't know. I don't know for sure though. I think it's min maxing. I think it's good that you can reroll all items now to get the passives you want. I mean, you could do it before, but it was like almost impossible, and now it's like. It's at least getting a lot easier there. Ah! If you could just say reroll until devouring blaze and then just do one button click.
Like, this takes so many of the yellow crystals. Like, imagine doing this on a live environment. You know what? I'm just gonna go with plus one for now, I guess. I don't wanna waste everything here. Okay, I'm gonna do ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoops. Nine. Ten. Alright. Keep it like this. Okay, we can use these. Then let's get the star for coronet. Where's my star? Oh, it's my inventory. Okay, so we have this one. This one gets into Juggernauts. Okay, this one gets into Recursors. The good thing about Fireball is you need so little aspects, right? You don't need anything. You need Recursors and that's basically it. All the other aspects are just, like, plain damage. I mean, you can get accelerating, I guess. Um, you can also, um, obviously get, um, uh, Ancient Flame here now. Which is, I guess, a good thing. Yeah, I have a K roll. And then we get... Conceded. So that's basically the aspects already. Then let's go for Aragon real quick here. At least the Paragon here is easy. Okay, Elementalist, which one did I miss? That's wrong. Uh, Batman Master. Okay, we get Enchantment Master. can actually get the um what's it called chanter here enter how much int does this board actually have I feel like this board is like so shitty this is like not even good for this glyph let's just not do this uh, what about, uh, I think I'm just going to do this board with the, um, this is garbage. Romaniac is not good. So we just do like a regular board here. Flame feeder, for example, is good. This is actually a good int board, but we don't really need int in this build at all. We actually need this. Actually, we don't even need these auras. We have enough intelligence to fix auras here.
And here we put tactician as always. Okay, we gotta get, no, we don't need burning instinct. We don't need these, we don't need these. But let's see if this work uh, this build at least still works a little bit. How does this board work? Now this is the this is, I think the this is the enchanter board I think. Yeah, that's the enchanter board. Uh, okay. I don't need decks, by the way. Why do I pick decks? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Good enough. This board is really good for intelligence, by the way. Wonder if this. No, this way is. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. We gotta get the uh, searing heat note. This is also not a bad note, actually, to get. Okay, let's go with one. These boards are like all the same, basically. So it's like every single time you build them, they are basically exactly the same. You just pick the glyph sockets and be happy. Production here. Then we have we can use elemental summoner, I guess. How do my, how, how do many how many do you need for frigid fate? So we should still have exploit. This is good. So we have 12 points. Where do we put 12 points? We could get more like survivability actually, or we could get these non fizz nodes here. We could make. Maybe Enchantment Master is not too bad for. But no, we're not doing this. Let's get these ones in the middle. They're easy to reach. And we have two more for like... Let's go at this health node here. Alright, that looks good. Reset our skills. So this is the simple build, right? Which one was the better one? I have no clue. This one probably. 
So this one should do like a little bit more damage than before. We're not gonna pick these actually. Just put my defensive pants on again. Or was it a chest piece with the defensive skills? I think it was a chest piece. This one here. This one here on. Now we don't need to put the points in here. Glass cannon, elemental attunement, bucket, fences. I guess we can play it with Hydra and Conjuration Mastery probably even, because we have so many skill points free in this build. Okay, burning damage, do not care. This one is good now, right? Does more damage. I think the healing we don't really want. We use on dying for that, so I have 10 skill points left basically. I could put into. Maybe I can actually put them into. Let's just get Inferno for now. And let's put the rest into Hydra, why not? I draw with crit damage. Always burn. I don't even know. I just used the Hydra for the Conjuration Mastery, I suppose. So. Let's see. So we get Meteor Enchant and Fireball Enchant. Could also get Frozen Orb Enchant, maybe, and Hoarfrost. Maybe that would be the better variant. But no, I want to have Firebolt Enchantment for sure. And then we just put Hydra on our bar. We want to have Meteor, we want to have uh, Fireball, Inferno, Flame Shield, and Ice Armor, I guess. Teleport. Wait, what am I missing? I have Ice Armor, I have Hydra, blah, blah, blah. Meteor, I'm missing Meteor. So I guess I have no room for Inferno. Oh, I can't skip ice armor. Let's just look what happens. So I have everything pumped now, right? I have the aspects. I just don't have the double casts on fireball, but I'm using for now the extra tar rusher stacks. I have undying. I have my armor. I have damage. Okay, I still have unstable currents cooldown on here, but that shouldn't be like so significant. So let's see how much this actually does. Actually, let me put like a gem into my staff for Coronet. Let's add a socket to staff for Coronet. I usually don't play this with Inferno. Maybe it's a bad idea. Maybe I should just play it with Lightning Spear, honestly. And ah, I wanted to have the lightning spear, right? Probably the better idea here. So let's see how much damage this old build does. With high lucky hit. I, I didn't check my breakpoints actually. So let's see what my breakpoints are. Oh, I have no resistances. <laughs> Interesting. Why do I have no resistances? I should have more. Well, I didn't pick the one resistance node, so let me just fix this. This is not going to work. Um, I need one more resistance node, basically. So, just remove some uses. Damage to burning, damage to burning. So now I have 60 ish. I 
I guess I just put diamonds. Diamond. What am I missing? Ah, that's good enough. Good enough for now. Say so wait. So I can do Hydra now? How do I play this? Bouncing fireball into meteors? Oh wait, that one is fortified. So this build still works, right? I mean, I don't have the perfect damage right now. Need to fix my mana still, but it still does damage. And obviously you want to scale crit damage with this. Wait, what am I doing to get my mana fixed? I don't remember. So I guess this build is still the most solid. Like it still kills non-elites with one combo. I mean it's terribly slow, obviously, compared with Frozen Orb. Also missing like one Tarasha stack from uh, Frost. Actually, I only have three. Okay, now I have four. Okay. I keep dying though. No, I never use that. I, I just use like one lucky hit proc for mana regeneration usually. Usually, I never use aspects to fix resources at all. You basically just need like a lucky hit uh, proc, but I already have one lucky hit proc. Um, but I, I didn't check my breakpoints, like I have 40% attack speed which is too low and also the, the mob density there is pretty low. But even this um, is not doing a lot of damage. What I'm saying is um, you could you could get a little bit more damage. You, like by getting the extra fireball procs, right? You could get a little bit more out of this, but still, um, it's not enough. Like even with perfect gear, this will not be enough. And that's actually a little, little shocking. Yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> This one here still does the best procs. You would, you would want to have, like, for example, if I could uh, use the resource elixir right now. I mean, my, my mana is like, um, I, I only have 40% attack speed instead of, um, well, actually, I have ancient flame, right? Please don't kill me. Ah, I cannot change my skills. Um... What was I gonna say? I wanna use the resource elixir here now for testing. And uh, did I actually use Ancient Flame? Okay, I have Ancient Flame and Aces Ferocity. So I just didn't kill a mob, I suppose. But even with perfectly scaling of these, it's not gonna be good for tier 200. I feel like. So, I guess tier 200 is not like so terrible from the difficulty. It's more like the Frozen Orb build is overpowered. 
see, this is basically working, and just imagine I had like double fireballs. Obviously, I'm like meeting suppressors here. I don't know if Ball Lightning will be having a good time doing that. Ice shots probably. All frost builds do like very good damage. I mean this is as fine as it has been. I don't have like any good cooldown reduction on this right now so... Usually you need more cooldown reduction with this, more lucky hit and stuff like that. But I mean, this is still working as you can see. Once you get going with your like ancient flame aspect and everything. Obviously like, these unstoppables are like a little nasty. But I mean, this is not very fluent, but you know, you could get more damage obviously for this. Like you can probably double. Like I'm missing one Tal Rusher stack. My Tal Rusher ring only has uh, um, 12%. So this works pretty much all right, I would say. Also don't have the 25% uh, extra attack speed from uh, accelerating aspect. I don't even know if I want them at this point. I mean I will not make it in time but I just want to go to the boss and see you know how much HP he has. Like how terrible it will be. Frost. <laughs> I know that. I know that all these builds will be working just fine for lower levels, but I want to try. I want to find something which is viable for the highest levels here. Like, obviously, this build's gonna smash like any low content, no problem. The, the unique staff is like. It's like. The worst you can do basically like you're literally gonna do no damage <laughs> what It's this thing, right? That's why you want to play Frost Pills, basically. For high level content. Because as soon as stuff gets out of crowd control, you have a problem. Walla also.
I mean, the kill speed on this trash is obviously significantly slower than Frozen Orb, but it's at least there. And I still run like unstable currents, cooldown reduction and stuff like that, so... Could get a little bit more out of this. Stunlock or you die. That's, but it has been like that since, you know, the launch of the game, right? I mean, double fireball will probably be better than um, what I'm playing right now. Wait, is this the wrong way? Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, the Meteor Size really doesn't matter, I feel like. I feel like Meteor Size is big enough. But, um, you get Meteor Size for free, I think. I don't even know what, uh, I think it's utility, so you can definitely do it. Yeah, that's what, they have, they have a problem with the difficulty scaling, because they scale the monster damage. And at some point it one-shots you because this game doesn't have any usable damage mitigation mechanics. And they now added dodge. And you can get like, you know, 70% dodge or something like that. But you know, that's not going to help you with the one-shot problems. Right, let's see how bad it's going to be. Okay, well, I got like 5%. So this is also, like, even if you push this to the max with perfect gear, I would say you can double the damage of this. Maybe you can get like 150%. Also, obviously, Meteor is, like, super terrible against bosses like this because, you know, it's hard to hit them. Damn it. So, yeah, I mean, even this is it's not going to be viable. I mean... This is a hard boss, obviously, but still, I mean, the damage... Even if you triple the damage, it wouldn't be enough. And also, remember, like, the Fireball and the Meteor are doing major damage while he is healthy. So the damage is gonna fall off as soon as he's not healthy anymore, right? So even this... Like, these are all the old builds, right? This is not gonna be viable. So really there is, you know, maybe the Firebolt build can do it. And the Blizzard and the Ice Shards, obviously. Ice Shards probably still gonna be, like, taking forever for this boss. Yeah. I mean, but this is just a PDR, right? This will still get maybe some balancing.
Anyway, it's not gonna happen. Um, but yeah, this is going to be it. So, I mean, honestly, I'm a little disappointed that these builds are all not even working at all. Like, even though I don't obviously have the perfect gear, but um, you just feel like they are, like, terrible. Blizzard and eye shots will work. Like, I, I don't have any doubt about that. Um, eye shots, obviously, with Frozen is, like, killing everything down there. And basically, with Frozen Orb Enchantment and stuff like that, that's definitely gonna work. Ice shards? You mean ice spikes? Ice shards always hit... Uh, um, scale with weapon damage and ice spikes actually don't do more damage than they did before so the the scaling is pretty much the same so if you if you go for uh wait. so you have glacial aspect right ah. bet there's no button glacial aspect so, as you can see, it is um, 3.86k, and I think it was pretty much the same before. So, um, the ice spikes, so the damage basically stays the same. It hasn't really changed. Um, but that's Blizzard, right? So, Blizzard still works exactly the same like it worked before, basically. It's just about, you know, having very high attack speed and stacking as many of these ice spikes as possible. Yes, it is scaling with weapon damage, but again, like the maximum roll of Glacial is the same like it has been before. It's not doing more damage than before. So, I mean, even... I wanted to try without the gloves. That's basically one last thing I'm gonna try before I... All this... I have these gloves here somewhere, right? With plus two core skills. Just wanna masterwork these. Uh. So let's go for... So these are all not gonna do anything. Pyromancy critical strike damage basically is a good stat, obviously. But we still go with natural here. No, you just gotta go deeper. At the very end, you get it for free, basically. If you get like two higher levels. Uh, once. Wait, which one are they? I just want to try once without the bouncing fireball. Look at this, plus four core skills. Probably not the best thing to hit there, though. I take it.
Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. It's it's just a fun build. Even with perfect gear, I calculated it. It's it's gonna be good for like overworld farming, nightmare dungeon, hell tide, but uh, it's not for high level pit. Okay. So let's change this. And let's get a... What else? What? I could still go for accelerating aspect, I guess. Oh, guys, no button. It's exactly what it is. It's wasting your time. We don't stack any burning damage in Frozen or build. I don't know where you got that from, but there's literally no burning damage stacking. Uh, wait, what happened? Where's my gloves? Okay, let's try with out illuminator. The teleport, but if you get the teleport nova size increase. It gets pretty large. It gets like to half a screen size, basically. So let's see if what what happens if you actually don't have bouncing. Okay, you don't have mana, obviously. <laughs> What if I had mana and no bouncing? Ah, wait, I have to uh, check the resource elixir. Okay. Are these gonna go away? Yes. So at least they are freeing the entrance for me. That's nice. Okay, so let's get the resource cost reduction here. I feel like it's like so much worse. I don't even express how much worse it feels. The Meteor is doing more damage. But yeah, it's absolutely not playable. a try though switch bodies and see i can't, can't even switch gear i don't know why you can't switch gear in here it's like stupid yes they're completely terrible the regular firebolt the fireball i mean i have, cannot sustain mana because we don't lucky hit So yeah, anyway, like overall pretty disappointing, I have to say. Like I couldn't really get any of the old builds even closely get into like hit tier 200. And the only thing I can see really is there may be Firebolt with the uh, infinite flame shield. Because basic skill damage actually can be scaled very high. But all the other damage, you know, nothing really changed. But I feel like these are all not going to be working they're just missing significant amount of damage. And by significant, I mean like four to five times the damage. And there's literally like right now is nothing where you can get that with, especially with the uniques not being changed, not being buffed at all.
And I mean, of course, the gear is not perfect. But the gear I have actually is pretty good. And um, I guess I don't have permanent vulnerable in this uh, fireball build. But I guess, you know, that's like something they have to work on the balance. And I will try like something with teleport and oculus maybe. Depends on how much, you know, teleport you can get. Like one more thing I want to try how, how far it gets basically because if you have like, you know, the teleport also just gets 2% extra damage. So even if you get it to like level 20. Um, like... If you, if you max it. Then you get the 500%, right? Okay, it's not written in here. But um, let's sh let's just say we had like... Let's let's make it 50k, okay? Um, it's like... Switching Flame Feeder from control, for control is basically a 10% different in damage. So... Again, we're talking about factors of three or four damage missing here. So, like, the 10% is not going to do anything, basically. And, uh, so you make this times five, right? So that's going to be, like, 300k base damage or something like that. Um, Tower Russia Ring is always going to be the best because it has very impressive stats it has cooldown reduction it gives you um 45 percent damage multiplier if you have a good roll so it's like stronger than a tempering yes because the tempering on the rings you just get one additive damage and the other one is just utility so tempering on rings is not so strong actually the stats are stronger obviously but um i think tarasha is still the the best multiplier you can get there And obviously I can try, I would try this with um, different weapons. With uh, more fireball projectiles. But it's not going to be tremendously, like even if you get the perfect rolls. You get like, where's weapon? I'm wrong. Weapons. So if you get the perfect roll, you have a 17.5. So you can get like a 30% basically, right? And um, if you get like two times 30%, you get like a 60% to double your firewall, which is basically, it's basically not so amazing. It's so amazing on the frozen orb because it works on the conjurations. And it also works on the um, extra cast from the um, Frozen Orb enchantment. But for Fireball, it's basically just going to work on your initial Fireball. So it's not going to be very um, strong. Correct. I have Poison and Shadow on my weapons, as you can see. So that makes it stronger. But also you cannot choose another offensive stat on your weapon. So that's also it's not like without... Um, No, I don't think so. But even if it would be, um, you couldn't use it because the stuff is um, a unique item and you only can put this on want and focus. So you cannot use it together with the stuff. So the system itself is basically, you know, the unique items are weak. You can, you can basically put it like this. Unique items are useless. They basically got removed from the game. They need like a 200% buff like on most of the unique items. Because tempering and the new affixes are just... If you just compare... You, you just have to compare the stats on the unique items. So if you if you just take the Raymond as the example, right? So if you take Raymond as an example. Raymond has 37 int. Okay? 37. Now look at a random body armor. Do we have a random one? This is a greater affix though. This one, um, 
So this is also great. I do have one with a regular roll. Anyway, it's like it's like triple. So a regular roll is like um like this one here has intelligence, right? I can reset this. Let me just reset this here real quick. Right, let's reset it. So now just compare like the unique item with the base item. So this has 37 intelligence. This has 70. So this is 84 max. This is 42. So basically it has the double the maximum of intelligence of the unique item. So it's a huge deal actually that the uniques haven't been buffed. So they don't fit in. You cannot use them at all basically. They're pretty much unusable. Like if you look at this, it has an 11.6% critical strike chance base. This is fully upgraded. And if you look at another item with um, crit chance, which is unupdated, we have one. No. But anyway, so the, the base crit chance is like 15% without any upgrades. And this one has 11% fully upgraded. Right? This attack speed. This has 10.2% attack speed fully upgraded. And a regular item has, this has like 23%. It, it has like a, a one crit, but it would have like 20% or something like that. Like this has, look at this, 21.8% attack speed. This can have 10.2. So basically, their stats are half of all the uniques, right? So all the uniques are basically now garbage. You can throw them into the trash. And that's a huge issue. It's, it's really a big deal that the uniques haven't been buffed. For example, if you want to build like any kind of teleport damage build, you have to use Oculus, right? So what happens if you do that? You have to use the Oculus, which has garbage stats. Yes, it gives you plus 9 to teleport, but probably if you use a regular item and just put a damage aspect on, you're going to end up with way more damage than using this Oculus, which gives you 9 ranks to teleport. Because Oculus hasn't been buffed and you cannot put tempering on it. And that's kind of... I feel like kind of, and it, it had already been before, like already before this major update, Uniques had been weak in most slots because the legendary aspect would have been much stronger than the unique effect. And it wouldn't be worse to use a unique if you, because you have to sacrifice a legendary aspect. And now basically it's even more because you don't, you now sacrifice a legendary aspect, you sacrifice double the stats and you sacrifice the tempering. So basically you sacrifice like 15 times the potential by just using a unique. Like you cannot use T-balls, you cannot use Raymond basically, if you, you could use it, but it doesn't make any sense. Right, so Raymond gives you plus two ranks to glass cannon, right? Plus two ranks to glass cannon give you 12% damage, all right? A regular armor gives you an extra aspect, it gives you tempering, and it gives you intelligence. Intelligence is 18% damage, which is more than the glass cannon rolls on Raymond. Just doesn't make any sense, it doesn't work together. So... It's a step in the right direction, but, you know, we're not there. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to say, so I basically tested all the builds and they all were disappointing. So I am a little bit disappointed, but, you know, it's just a test realm, right? So I'm just going to, you know, maybe try the teleport build and then I'm going to um, do my reports. I want to do a leveling, so I will do one leveling session on Sunday. I want to see if I can get level 1 to 100 within Helltides. That's the last thing I want to test. Um, but other than that, I don't really see so much other things to do in the PTR, really. I tested the Imbalance build. I tested all the other builds. So, yeah. That's kind of the, the story. Really disappointed. I really thought there would be more potential in the other builds. But that's also, I don't see any videos on YouTube of other people... <laughs> Clearing anything with builds which are not frozen or open currently. Anyway, that's like gonna be it. I'm gonna call it for today.
So I guess there's not going to be any more builds other than maybe the fun build. Maybe I try the um, I try to min max the um, the firebolt build. That's maybe some I will try. But besides that, probably no. You're welcome. Take care. I can give you one Tar Russia. Just give me your battle tech. I can give you both. Okay. Okay, so you want Raymond and Tarasha. Do we have any good one? These are all the same, basically, right? Do the stats on Raymond even matter? Probably not. I give you one with the socket. That's that's a good thing, right? And I have bad and bad. But this one is a little less bad. Just give me your battle tag and then I can give you the boots. Just give me your battle tag and I can give you the boots. Alright. 